Good hours day, all creatures of water chain ratings, and welcome to Kingdom of Aldana, where in a couple sessions it may become the Kingdom of Dragons. Previously, on our session, the Heron Stellans have engaged uh, the sibling dragons, finding them to be much better prepared for this fight than their previous siblings. You slaughter the male pretty quickly, pretty easily, but the female has caused you significant damage before she, as well, was finally brought down. As Iris got down on potions, Dragon Melora quickly investigated the mysterious amber glow from the Shattered Oak. You found a large gemstone, a remnant of the Oak's Divine Spark and the tools that could empower either of you in the upcoming battle. You have teleported, eventually, to Nebo, finding yourselves witness of Nebo's defenses against the Mother of Dragons. As you rush towards the front line, Boris Suvorov has called at you out from a gargantuan humanoid silhouette, kneeling in front of the city gates as you saw the giant shape of Mother of Dragons fighting at a distance away from the city. So, you hear the commander shouting at you from that figure, Hey! Hirun Stalins, over here, quick! We must prepare! Yeah, let's immediately run towards that. Alright, so you descend uh, quickly, uh, all of you sitting upon uh, Leos, and right behind the Nebus Gate, you see the most humongous golem that you've ever seen before. It is similar in its shape and construction to the ones you've seen uh, Nebu create previously that assisted you in capture of uh, the Vision Headquarters. A Hulking. You're not sure how big, but it's fucking big. Armored Knight. Vaguely colored in like grayish purple with big pauldrons and a helmeted head with like a horn sticking from its head and a tarp um, like half cloak either not removed or intentionally placed upon its shoulder this currently kneeling and next to it on a cart on the ground you see a humongous weapon it's like about 20 foot long which now that you think about would count like as a knife for this golem, but you can s faintly see the enchantment uh, glow from that knife and uh, small people uh, scurrying around it, uh, preparing the soul for combat. Uh, you see that uh, the voice uh, was coming from a small hatch on the head of this Golem, from which you see the grey crown of uh, Borislav uh, waving at you and really you Leos could just like grab onto the back of this golem and like ride on its shoulders. I'll do that. <laughs> Alright, so um, doing that and I guess like some of you like Milora who has good eyesight Trigger, you judge this golem to be about 90 foot tall, which is like a nine story building. Nine story building. Um, anyway, as you like descend and cling on, uh, you see Boris Life like excitedly shouting at you, All right, you have arrived just in time. We were really, really short on. Everything, really. And I don't think her ladyship could hold her off for much longer. We got out our big toy, trump card, trick in our sleeve. This is like the, dis the distraction, the meat shield. Annie is doing the hard work. She's gonna make this thing move. I'm gonna sit inside and make sure it works right, so... Well, I hope you don't let me get destroyed. Anyway. Uh, how fast is it? Uh, uh, let like, me check how many number. feet per, let's say, six seconds? Uh, yeah, let me check it. 
Uh, check how fast it can go. I mean, one step of this thing is probably like 50 feet, so... Uh, uh, yeah, but if it moves... Yeah, I don't know, it could just be... If it, very it's, it could be one step or two steps in a round. Yeah. Oh, it is not very fast, about 10 feet per second. Okay. Just very long Definitely. legs. Anyway, hold on. I'm gonna hop over the wall and we're gonna start heading for the battlefield. Well, then I'm gonna park as a dragon on the back of that creature. Huh? Okay. So, um. Yeah. Uh, you cling on and uh, you see Borislav disappear inside of the golem and in a couple seconds you hear the low whirring hum of its activating as it slowly extends itself to its full height and grabs the weapon from the card which indeed is like a long knife for it and lifts its leg high, stepping over the nebo's wall and steps over, steps over with the second leg and waits for a moment and then starts <laughs> slowly walking towards its silhouette and the distance leaving deep, deep steps in the ground as it walks. Uh, Melora, you were saying that you are trying to accommodate the crystal. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so, as you were concentrating on that stuff, holding on to that gemstone and holding it next to your stuff, you saw as... Uh, one second. Uh, open the picture. Where are you? There you are. As the top of your stuff, which has previously looked like a prune tree, has, be uh, has begun sprouting uh, fresh branches and its whole surface starts sprouting a green moss, green leaves, as those branches snake towards the gemstone and wrap around it, coiling around the gemstone and incorporating it into the staff as the whole staff curves gently under its weight and becomes completely covered in uh, greenery except for like one handhold for you to use it and the gemstone slowly dims in color as it turns from amber to watery green and almost seems to shrink in size as its energy transfers to the stuff and finally settles firmly inside of it. So... Um, I remember somebody linking pictures into Roll20 chat. Did you do it through... From a drive or from the internet? From a link. From a link. Alright, fuck that in that case. Uh, <laughs> Actually, I think I know how I can show it to everybody. Uh, but in any case, Melora, this is how your stuff looks like now. You should be able to see. Ooh, it's pretty. Yes, and you Where can... Where do you see it? We don't get Real to funny. see it because we're not attuned to it. Strange. Oh, well. She's right in front of us. Doesn't matter. I'll maybe show it. Actually, yeah, I'll show it to you a bit later when uh, I can switch from Discord. Uh, but uh, you would want to check pretty much all of it because I've slightly adjusted the wording of like the start of it. The spells got... Well... The second part of that got expanded, uh, and then under three form, there are basically one, two, three, four new large abilities that this stuff has. Although most of them will be completely useless for the purpose of this battle. <clears throat> but go ahead, read on it. Um, 
Alright, you do that. Um, as you do, um, you. Alright, that crap. You, uh, you, 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 as you're heading into the battlefield, you see that uh, the Heron's Talon that was previously harassing the Mother of Dragons with barrages of energy beams uh, is swiftly moving back towards you to, I guess, reunite with you. And as uh, the two of you approach each other and Heron's Talon descends to like the level of uh, the golem's uh, head, uh, you come to a stop as you watch that giant silhouette of Master Dragon slowly but uh, inexplicably approaching. Inexplicably, irreversibly, I don't know. Impending. It's impending upon you. Uh, you see that uh, the deck of uh, Minotaur, e uh, not Minotaur, fuck, of uh, Heron's Talon is quite busy. Foreshadowing. Uh, having upon itself uh, three figures that you. Recognize uh, very quickly. Um, there are the lifeline siblings, uh, Nochnaya and uh, Damien, uh, waving at you, and you see the red coat of um, our counselor uh, Rubius, uh, who uh, addresses you uh, as you approach and says, ah, "My friends." It is good that you have joined us at last. We are afraid for the destiny of well, everything, really. Well, we are here, so let's destroy a huge ass dragon. I shall join you personally, while my new friends over here shall support us from the base, from the deck of the ship. We've got a brave little gnome, manning the magnificent weapon that has been added to it. Yes. The Lunark, they have called it. Anyway, you see him kind of like drop his stuff, and as it does, it stops about a foot off the ground and takes some like, a horizontal hovering position as he stands atop of it. Let us fly towards danger. Let's go. He's a, Fly he's a us to our doom. You gain access to our Cancel Rubius, who will be under your control, because fuck me doing that. <laughs> gimme, gimme. Uh, you will find him in NPCs and Familiars. Ooh. And his well, character sheet see. is there, along with all the spells and abilities that I have found it appropriate to give him. Uh, you will find him having uh, one spell slot already expended, and he should cast some other spells, according to my advice. Uh, not that you ha have to do that. Uh, anyway, there you are. Please take care of him. He's a glass cannon. Um, and uh, since you've seen the ship, uh, in NPCs and familiars, you gain access to Nebo support forces. So. How is this gonna work? Instead of adding new actions and rounds to the map, I've decided to make you cooler. The golem shall serve as your party's legendary actions. Nice. You will have three of them. They will reset at the... Like, whenever first of you have your initiative, that's when they reset. Each of you can use them, as legendary actions usually work, and that's what golem is gonna use. Uh, figure out among yourself if one of you gets to do that, if you split them, if you take turns, I don't care. This golem is your legendary action, say some legendary actions. Now, the ship and the city are your lair actions, which will happen on initiative 20, and your lair action happens before her lair action. So again, figure out uh, who uses them, if you take turns, so on, you've got one, two, three, four layer actions. As a reminder, you cannot use same layer actions uh, twice in a row. You have to change sides. But you've got the siblings assisting you with healing and other spells from the ship. You will need to be wary of range. 
as the Hinnerstellen can obviously be brought down just as the Golem can. Uh, the Ark uh, or the ship has two modes of fire, the Dexterity Beam and the AC Barrage. And uh, the city will try to assist you with the, with the automated, automated Ballista. Uh, they hit hard, uh, because there are a lot of them, but they are not very accurate and they are limited by their advantage, disadvantage, well, no, no advantage, straight roll disadvantage range. Uh, so you might want to try and drag the Mother of Dragons into that range. But anyway, there you go. Uh, this list also contains the stat block for um, uh, the Golem. And uh heron's wing is heron's wing that's what you use for heron's wing uh consider that for a moment as i try and remember i have forgotten to give you anything this is too much to read yes <laughs> oh right uh um, should, should we maybe split this uh, split this up I could offer to take over uh, Rubius <laughs> because it's oh. the easiest. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, sure. And Jesse can do the two others. Yeah, I'm down for that. Uh, also, Jesse. I can try. Yeah. I can try to be uh, also, Jesse, for your nature's ras, uh, mm. if you go into PCs, PCs, there's a new folder under your character called the nature's ras. Which contains not the stat blocks because stat blocks don't really change, but the tokens for each of the forms. So pictures basic. Okay, and the summon fey, that's basically the conjure fey spell, right? Um there are two options. One is uh, you can use it as the as the summon fey spell, which is from Tasha's. Uh, or okay. you, if you use it as a ritual, which takes time, which you usually don't have, you can basically summon a more powerful uh, nymph, uh, which, as I've told you, is really cool, but is unlikely to be useful for this uh, thing. Uh, also, no, 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 you're wrong. It's not Conjure Fey, it's Summon Fey. It's a level 3 spell okay. from Tasha. I don't think Ready? it's gonna be on roll 20. Uh, because Stroll20 doesn't have those spells, so you'll have to check the same website that we use for monsters, which I'm pretty sure somebody can drop a link to you. Uh, Dash spells are there. Um, but again, I don't think this spell is going to be very useful in this combat. Um, anyway, um, any questions so far? So many. <laughs> um, I will manage. What are you taking, Southern? I'm just gonna die very early on, and then I'm gonna take them all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's one option. Okay. That's, that's one way okay. to do it. That is currently my plan. Uh, so, d does anyone t want to take Rubius? Otherwise, I would take him. You can have them. No, you can have Rubius. I just need to remember what me. what uses our legendary actions and what uses our uh, legendary actions. actions are under legendary actions and layer actions are under actions. Yeah. So naval support forces. Um, you, you, when you scroll down on the on the left, you have the legendary actions and anything that's listed below actions is uh, layer action. And how layer so, action works is explained at the top of actions. Well, yes, and we get only three of them uh, between Heron's Wings and Nebel Support Forces? You get three legendary action and layer actions happens only once on Initiative 20. Yeah, the le so oh, the le right. legendary actions are basically just the golem. Yeah. You're gonna be th that's yeah. just using the golem and the layer action is mostly Heron's Wing um, or the Nebo Automaton Ballista Barrage. Yes. Um, I'm sorry, stupid question I gotta ask. So when I look at these tree forms, it brings up saying use the character mancer, create an uh, NPC. No, 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 no. You you don't open them, they have nothing inside, they're empty, you just use them to like drag them onto the map to get a token onto the map. It's just for the token. I got you. It's just you know like the same as uh, Leo's dragon form. Oh. Yeah. 
because they basically they use your stat blocks they just add a couple abilities on top that you that are written in your item description uh, okay yeah <laughs> no so i'm never mind i'm good this doesn't seem too complicated <laughs> uh, are you taking the ship i mean i I'm, I'm just gonna take whatever you want honestly uh, I, since I can... since Trego is from Nebo, he should uh, take the Nebo support forces. <laughs> I need to find uh, sound effects for a big golem. You need to make them. And yeah, don't hesitate to uh, correct me on this, because their actions and legendary actions and all that stuff, that's usually the DM's uh, problem. I never had to deal with it. Okay, I don't have any more space. Uh, I have so many things open. I can't like look at the map. We won't need that, right? I can just <laughs> look at everything else. I remember if I like, double click the top of a character sheet, it just drops into a small uh, form that you can I like know. open whenever I'm... you need. Yeah. I have a, qu a question. Um, Go for it. The, the lifeline um, action from the naval support forces. Yes. If I understand this correctly, they uh, when you use the action, they can move and yes. additionally cast a spell on yes. us if we're in the range. Yes. Okay. And go the on. spells are listed below. Yeah. Like yeah. Ba basically, like as you can see by the speed, somebody is currently powering. Um, can understand to go much faster than it usually does, mm -hmm. and basically, like either as a, as a brave gnome concentrates on driving, and the siblings can do their stuff so he does double move but if he also has to shoot he basically moves and shoots that's why the shooting option are slower but yeah i've decided to simplify it as much as possible to speed everything up this and is, uh, yeah this is good all right can you explain the the lifeline ability yeah uh the lifeline are basically the last name of the two siblings. Uh, that's why it's called like that. Uh, but basically, instead of giving you like spell slots to track, uh, they together have 147 mana. Each spell costs a certain number of mana. If you try to cast a level 7 spell, you spend 10 mana. But uh, you can go only up to level 7, and you can have only one level 6 and one level 7. Everything below you can have as many level 5 spell slots as you want, you choose where to spend that mana. Uh, and the spell list is below. what's below? Yeah, it's pretty short one, because I removed all the touch spells, I removed all the long duration spells, I removed all the I don't want to deal with these spells. <laughs> I was basically like... You guys are getting help, you're not the only ones, but I don't want you to have five NPCs with you, because that's gonna take a lot of time. By the way, is the Heron's Talon back to 200 Oh uh, Yes, HP it is fully... yes. It is okay. fully... it is at 200 hit points, nothing else has been fixed, it has low AC and... Yeah, yeah I know, I know. It's stuff like that. Is it Heron's Wings? Ah, yeah, Wings, sorry, my bad. Like, it's the Wings and we are the Talons? Yeah, yeah you're correct. Yeah, seems to work right. Five, six, two. Yeah. All right, so I just changed the global magic attack to two from one. I think that's all I have to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You okay? Yeah, it is. Um. Oh yes, yeah, it's a quarter staff. Yeah. Get on through. All right. Uh, are we ready to roll? Yes. Oh boy. Alright. So. Let me drop you onto the map. This little map I've made. I've made a little song. Oh, no. A little map I oh, wrote. Jesus. Some of you have been correct. What the size is this, 100? Uh, I needed a fairly big map okay. for scale, so each hex is 30 feet, because all abilities and movements are in 30 feet. 
And so I wasn't I wasn't that off when I said two by uh, two hundred by two hundred because I was assuming that we use five uh, square feet, uh -huh. and it's more than a thousand. So I win. Uh, it's uh, fifty hexes or so. So fifty six times six three hundred. Uh, technically, but yeah, it's a fifteen hundred feet long. Let's fucking go. Um, you should be able to control uh, the golem and uh, the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, yeah. yeah, like they are to scale, so they take up as much space as, as they take. So they just be careful how you move them uh, for them to align with the grid. Uh, like, I mean, uh, Hero's Talon, uh, Hero's Wing takes three uh, basically hexes, and the golem is like three by three by three. Uh, and uh, now that we're here. I can show you how Miller stuff works now, looks now. And hmm. the big picture for the problem. Alright. Nice. Uh, can I uh can I argue for initiative uh turn order in roll twenty? Because we're gonna need it. <laughs> Um, it's for sure. I do it. Is that it? Uh, we would need our tokens on the map for that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, please do place um, the golem and the ship where you would like them for now. Also, um, yeah, and put your tokens like in a bunch to get in front of the golem. I'm gonna adjust their sizes because you would be able to. Um, dimensions. Look at my aura, it's so tiny! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> it, I'm gonna just make you. Do we Yay still big. have Windwalk? We still have Windwalk, right? We cast uh, that to get to this four part to the forest, right? Originally. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, drop I have to zoom on the map. so far to see my token. Yep. Uh, Windwalk is the last one. Then we have Euros East. Uh, Rubius on the map, please. And nice. uh, Melora. And Hi. and that's it. <laughs> gotta gather them all! I'm gonna forget some fucking buff. I know it. Should I put my potions effects also on me? Uh, if yeah. they have a spell effect on you. Uh, don't bother with them in the walk. Uh, yeah, I don't think you're gonna use them in battle. I just mean that's one more thing that could be dispelled if we try to get the spell. Uh, okay, sure. Uh, and Rubius on the I map, please, as well. That's realistic, but... Free... Okay, Freedom of Movement does not have a token. Lucas! Huh? You're controlling Rubius, put him on the map for me. Oh, sorry. Uh, I... Uh, was reading shit. I don't see giant strength on, uh, on here. Uh, it there doesn't is. exist. There's, like, Where strength up option or something. Yep, there is that. Oh, Arch Chancellor, that's him. The strength, strength, strength increase option. Right, yeah. yeah, and the oil of sharpness, we're just remembering that it doesn't ever go dormant. Uh, sure. I mean, it goes dormant, you just still have your plus three bonus. Yeah. Yeah, you, you're welcome to like occupy the same uh, um, like hex space like this, basically. Uh, but aside from that, like really, anything less than 30 feet movement shouldn't matter much. Um, bam, 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 bam. I mean, right. we're riding Leos right now, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you're all riding the giant golem, so uh, you can just attach yourself to it. Just so desire. And uh, once again, uh, do place the ship and the golem where you would like them to be on the map when the combat starts. I have no idea where I would like them to be. <laughs> yeah, where do we see Mama? And you should be able to see, like, the orange line is the short range uh, of the ballistas. Yeah. This is 300 feet, which is... Of the automated ballistas? Yes. 
Okay, so they just roll with disadvantage on anything further. Than yes. Oh, there they are. Yeah. It was very hard to make the map to scale. I don't think I made it to scale, but it's good enough. 150 and 300. I even ate little details in certain places. You can look for them. <laughs> Alright, are we ready? Are we on the map? Um, All right. Should I be the, the, put my dragon directly in front of it or directly on the back? Uh, it, technically on the back. You can put it on it. Uh, I don't okay. Know. Yeah. Probably similar as well. You can just like put yourself onto the golem. If you so desire. Um, okay, okay. I think I should make this a bit closer for recording. Yeah, like a 35 location. I wish you could go like by five. Oh yeah, thirty-five. There we go. I think it's best. Okay. Now, roll initiative. Oh, how nice! Is that a token? Roll initiative. Rubius initiative. Can we roll double oh. digits? Can we? This is some bullshit right here. Nice. So how many turns does she get? Probably like five, you look you think. Find out. Alright, let me write it all down. I need to write it all down. Um, you can also just add yours into that, whatever your uh, fancy wants. So let's see. Boom, 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 boom. All right. Yeah, it works right. Oh wow! <laughs> you all went below twenty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, that's heroic initiative. Yeah. Uh, looks very much correctly. If I want hidden initiative, I need to have like a token on the... hidden gems there, and I roll it. Yeah. Yeah. And you can also activate talk to myself to make sure that the roll isn't uh, sent to uh, the um, to the chat by accident. Yeah, I don't have a token for her. I mean, I don't have a character sheet for her on roll 20. Oh well, I'm just gonna do it. Uh, take anything else you could, for example, use the spectator's cam camera. And then just rename it. That's sometimes how I do it. See it, right? Okay. 
and small. Like this. Alright. And I can hit sell. I don't need you anymore. All right, let's go. So, y'all wait with held breath for the arrival of the Mother of Dragons. It's far in the distance, she eventually appears. Where's Kazar, by the way? Uh, oh, fuck, I forgot to mention him. Uh, yeah, alright, sure. Good thing I haven't started. As you're preparing for combat, you see a flash of energy on uh, the ship. And Lady Kazar comes stumbling onto the deck. She looks battered and badly hurt. She looks around noticing all of you on the golem and runs over to the side shouting at you um well finally you have Dane to arrive all right i did as much as i could but the ritual having to do it on my own has really expanded my resources and she got me with her breath before i managed to pull them off you see her Kind of like reaching behind and grabbing something behind her back and uh, dragging out about like a foot long like needle from her back. I'm gonna get to my mansion. Gasoline potions. I can get back and back. If I can get back on time, I'll get back. But I'm really spent. Oh, and by the way, she does more than breathe poison. Uh, she does more than breathe poison. So, yeah, have fun. What does she breathe? Needles. Get off my plan. Damn it. And yeah, it's a piercing dragon. She's gonna just old school, just slowly start flying because. Yeah, she's out of spell slots. <laughs> and by the way, since I also remember this, uh, all right, uh, you and you, all right, Artis, do you have more than one potion drunk? No. Uh, Mil I only have heroism at the moment. All right, Milora, I don't think you have any potion drank of buffs. I mean, no. All right, uh, Leos, Dragon, how many potions do you have drunk? Um, I have drunk two healing potions and the potion of heroism, but as soon as we get within range, or like the round before range, I would uh, drink the potion of speed. Old. Well, actually, you are currently getting in range, so if you don't want to do it, drink initiative, drink it now. Uh, yeah, then then I'll do it now. Right. In that case, uh, so roll the hundred. Um, oh, one second. 100. Let me do this and then I'll come back to you. Lucas, 100. Oh, sorry. I I, I thought I heard Melora was supposed to roll. Um, oh, yeah. 76. 76. Alright, good for you. Both potions work normally. Uh, nice. Jesse, you were saying? Just curious, how much time do we actually have before the mother gets to us and we start? Like, you know what I'm thinking. I, I just want to know if I have time to do it uh, or if it's past. If you wanted to take 10 minutes, you should have started doing that the moment you teleported to Nebo. Okay. Too late, honey. Uh, make it plan B. No, no, no. We can do it. We can do this. I mean, as I keep we'll saying, you can always try to do anything, even breaking the rules. Just expect the price for failure to be really high. 
Can I cast Power Word Kill Mother of Dragons? Uh, yes. <laughs> roll the hundred. If you roll anything within the hundred, you kill yourself. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, Trigger, any potions? Oh, yeah. uh, how many potions do you have? <clears throat> Giant Strength Fly? I, I've i drunk, yeah, I, I uh, took Flying. Uh, Oil of Sharpness, which isn't a potion, but yes. it's still applied. Uh, and Giant Strength. And uh, the Antitoxin. And the um, stone, stone Giant Strength. Yeah, actually, actually Antitoxin will also count as a crap. Alright, so uh, order. Order of things. Which portion you drank uh, Order first? in which I've drink, yes. uh, drunk them. Um, let's go with uh, the antitoxin first. All right. And then flying. Okay, uh, roll me the 100. Okay. 27. Great. Uh... <laughs> Uh, both portions work, but with their numerical effects and durations halved. That's okay. half an hour for both? Half an mm -hmm. hour for both, and the strength is halved that you get. So we haven't flying... drank strength yet. Hmm? Yeah, the, I've drank in antitoxin and flying. Oh, flying. So I don't know. Uh, oh. In that case, fly for half your movement speed? Okay, at least I don't fall to death. That's, it, there's nothing numerical in there. Uh, the speed, I guess, but that's it. Speed, half your moon speed, double your moon speed. I'm okay. pretty sure you can have that. Um, one second. Uh, combining the results. Okay, interesting. Roll another 100. Another one, okay. Uh, 61. Ooh, that passes. All right. That's like so good... the giant strength is halved as well because the effects are combined. Uh, so half the strength, uh, which is what? It's, it's which a means... worthless. Just so it does one. nothing. Okay. And 61. Uh, yeah. No additional effect. So uh, giant strength doesn't do anything. Can I take that token off? Yes. It has no bad side effects either. Okay. But yeah. And, and then growth uh, lasts for a minute, right? Sure. No, growth is also one hour. I don't remember. Let me look into my, our bag of holding. Or just one minute. Um, this is the longest. 24 hours. Hmm. And... Yeah, so I'll try that too. Sure! <laughs> Go for it, roll now's the 100. Mm -hmm. 26. Uh, Good, let's get all the bad rolls now. Same effect. So, everything is halved, so roll for the duration. I mean, it doesn't matter, it's still gonna be like half an hour at the very least, for the post no growth. And what does it do? It like enlarges you? An hour, an hour and a half. Right? Just like enlarge spell, right? Yeah. Enlarge and I get a... So you basically get, get only a, like 1d2 damage bonus. Okay. Huh? Unless I crit, then I get 2d2. <laughs> sure. Uh, and you are technically one size larger for the purpose of everything. Uh, so... Shouldn't it uh, only be um, hmm? half a size larger? Isn't that also only half? Uh, yeah. Technically, but I'm gonna give you Shit, this. Shit, I wanted to tackle Mother Dragons. Damn. Uh, actually, no. Let's make you like uh, five. I like think this. the only one who who would have a chance of tackling her would be the it's actual golden. giant we're riding on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, they are technically the same size category because Gargantuan is a really large size category. Actually, you can try but... and grab her as well because you are technically Gargantuan as well. Hmm. Your dragon, I mean. Do it. Do it. Lucas. Dragon Leo's oh, grappling. Because, yeah. like, the rules they don't say, like, you have to be the same size. It says you have to be the same size category, even if your gargantuan is 20 feet and her gargantuan is 100 feet. Um, anyway. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. That was Treg. Uh, Zardos. Uh, any potions? Here is the flight, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so we're only the hundred. I 
I'm gonna put a spiritual weapon for the 1d2 that I have. Uh, they both work normally. Good on you. I mean, to be fair, this is the most likely outcome, so I guess you took your chances. Okay. I think now we're done with preparations. This is like the longest, like, roll initiative ever. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, speak now or forever remain silent. I do have one thing. Um, in Rubius's character sheet, it yes. says um, he casts stone skin on himself. Yes. Um, so, so I sure. didn't see a token for it. Yes. So I used the brown yes. thing, and uh, it's one hour, so I don't yeah. think we need to count the uh, uh, rounds. Right? Yeah, it's also like already included into his damage resistances, so. Yeah, but it's concentration, so yeah. Is to it? Keep that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sure. Uh, I mean, it's still a good idea to put that on him, considering his hit points. Um, yes. I'm sorry. One question. This awakened Grove Guardians recharge six. That yes. means it takes all the charges, correct? No. Uh, it means that uh, once you use it at the start of your round, you roll a d6. If you roll, if you get a six, you get the ability back. Oh, okay. So. If you like, you can get it every round. If you unlike, you get it once a combat. Uh, alright. Alright. Here we go. Attempt number 500. So, as you prepare the fight of your life, you see in the distance the approaching impending silhouette mother of dragons as she enters into the fray behold what the, fuck? the mother of dragons we just see half of her <laughs> now you know her why book. i needed a map of that size now since the initiative happened the way it happened Lair action goes first, which means okay, that's good. your lair action goes first. Let me quickly okay. read the spell list so, they have. So there's either Lunaric Beam, Lunaric Barrage, Nebo Automation Ballista Barrage, or one of the spells. Lunaric Beam and Barrage are not in question. We do not have the range for that. You actually... No. Oh yeah, no, yeah, that no. But the, but the automation ballista barrage. Yes, two thousand four hundred feet. She is within. Mhm. Mm if it hits. And it's a plus five bonus. With disadvantage. With disadvantage. Yeah, hey, let's do it. She will. Sure. Uh, this won't hit, but we can try. Can I click it? Okay. All right. I yeah. Will... Okay. Uh. uh oh no. Did I? Didn't I put it onto the map? Yes, I did. Oh no, wait. Let you know. What's going on? No? Like this. Uh, Alright. So. Oh, <laughs> I don't see a hit point bar <laughs> because of your size. Alright, anyway, yeah. You see the ballistas of Nebu discharge behind you as bolts arc, and you just watch them. Bounce harmlessly off her scales. So her AC is greater than 12. God. <laughs> I think that's just broken. She she's not hard to broken. hit, she's hard to penetrate, if you know what I mean. Um, I'm not sure about that. As many kids as she has. Um, yeah. Uh, of course, that'll be a dice. Alright. Now her lair action happens. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Uh, boy. Um, what did I do with this? I did that. I don't think I can reach you with that. So she's not gonna. Why not? Why 
let's just do it anyway. Grab them and put them on the map. Have them available for later. And I think, considering her size, I'm just gonna keep them uh, scaled. So let's grow a wall over. Yeah, no, wait, I don't go that far. Let's see. Yep, I'm just gonna grow a wall. So you watch as uh, the road leading to Neba bursts open as just trees burst from it and create a small forest. <laughs> Why not? Uh, anyway, that was layer action, layer action, and that's important. And now, Zardos, it is your turn. <clears throat> Zardos. Yes. Yeah, I, I got nothing at this, at this point. You can hold your action. You got nothing to, to reach her, really? I'm slightly out of range. Just a little bit. I mean, if I dash, I might be able to get there, but be a little iffy. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hang out for now. Okay. Um, I would advise to at least take a dodge action, but up to you. Sure. Yeah, I'll dodge. Just start bobbing and weaving on the... Uh, let me check. No, no, you're not close enough for her legendary actions. Hmm. <laughs> Although... No, yeah, no, that's, that's her action. Okay. Um... Yeah. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Right, sure. Let's see. Uh, okay. Uh, two, 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 two. It is the Mouse of Dragon's turn, and she just. gonna fly towards the city with her. Stuff, and there she is now at the end of her turn. Where? Okay. Uh, I. You? I think I would like it to hand up her turn. Yes. I guess. It, is it her turn? To move uh, Mr. Big Boy here. Uh, 65. Oh, she. That's nothing. Okay, yeah, but yeah, I'm. That's <laughs> it's something. It's something. <laughs> We're moving. We're moving. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I will move him 60 feet. All right. It's gonna be so embarrassing if you defeat her in like two rounds. Ow. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you have a lot of stuff. All right. Uh, you do that. Uh, mark one of your legendary actions spent. Actually, I think I've put um, blue bar on your golem is your legendary action, so you can expand those. And I think on the ship, blue bar yes, is the are. spell points for swimming. All right. Um. Let me check uh, the range, uh, 700 feet. Uh, luckily for you, you are still uh, out of range of legendary actions, so she's not gonna use them. Uh, but, uh, Lucas, uh, Lewis, it is your turn. Uh, fuck. Um... <laughs> uh, I'm afraid she's out of range. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm just considering if... if uh... I was trying to get my calculations done by this, but um, uh -huh. I, I was considering if we're faster if we detach from. Uh, a little, I believe your dragon is faster. Yes. Um, I'm. Oh, oh shit! I'm also hasted. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, that gives me a flying speed of 160 and a hasted action. So everybody is on my back. So I will. Move 160 feet. Oh, I'm really sorry, it's gonna be 150. <laughs> uh, that's okay. So, 150 with my normal movement, then 
We're going straight Let's forward, pretend right? the Tragus enlarged fat ass is stomach you down by five feet. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, um, what's the orange half circle here? Is that the, the uh, range of the defense? That's the range of the ballistas. That's the normal range of the ballistas, basically, where they don't have disadvantage. Do we want to get out of that range and just attack it, her? That shit won't matter, so yes. I mean, it does okay. AD 10 damage, which is nice, but okay. it will yeah. never hit. It has a plus 5. Okay, so uh, then I'm going to use my action to dash right. another 150 feet. Huh. And then I will use my hasted action to move an additional 150 feet. Ah, uh, oh, sure. No. Oh, no, no. Do come Wait, in range. too much? Wait! <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, you told me to get right in there. No, I you're good, don't you're good. have to do it. Okay. We can fly in the other direction. It's not too late for us to flee. It's like at the start of the combat. Um, it's like at the start tricks. of the combat. <laughs> okay, and while I fly in that direction, I will fly low, so 10 feet above ground, so we don't fall into our death. Uh, in that case, you can't fly that far because you like start basically like, I don't know, 70 foot up. But there are 30 feet that I don't expend because I have a movement speed of, um, of uh, 150. Let's not argue anything that is not divided by 30. So what, I have to fly on the same height? I mean, your like 450, 450 foot of movement is if you fly from the back of the golem straight ahead, which is like, I know. Say 60 feet in the air. So if you want to fly 30 feet in the air, you need to expand like minus 30 feet. If you want to go like 10 feet in the air, you need to expand go even less. It will no, be just I'll... one hex backwards, but yeah. Yeah. then I'll just get one hex back. Sure. All right. Uh, well, this is fun. Uh, the rest of you need to move your tokens. Oh, wow. We are up front now. Zardas and Melora are still missing. Yeah. Yeah, I jumped off. <laughs> Did you? No. Alright. Uh, so, um... At the end of your Sorry, turn... I thought we were on the golem. No, no, I took flight because the golem is far too slow. Where do we measure the distance of the Mother of Dragons? Um, from the edge of her token. Which is okay. where I want it to be. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Like, where's that? No, okay. I'm I'm gonna mark basically uh, from the edges of her, not token, but from her model. So like uh, her tail on the left, or like I guess like her wing on the left, her head on the top, uh, the heel on the bottom, and like her other wing on the right. Because she is humongous. So we're about three hundred feet away from her. Yeah. Two hundred seventy. Yeah. Yeah. And, oh, funnily enough, at the end of your turn, she's gonna use two of her legendary actions to do a breath attack. Yeah. 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 Goodbye, guys. You see, like, the scales on her chest move as she inhales, and I'm not even gonna calculate, because you're all close together, as she expands a humongous cloud of poison. I will give you this one. Thank you. Anybody here not immune to poison? Antitoxins. Rubius. Fuck, that boy oh, dies Rubius now. Is instant, <laughs> All right, and is goal. resistant. Antitoxin um, gives a resistance, yes. So that's a con save? Um, that is indeed a constitution saving throw. So He gets a plus six. So uh, he gets a plus seven he gets because plus he's seven. proficient. Yes. So good roll. He is a transmuter. So. Oh. <laughs> 33. Uh, oh, he doesn't want to die. Rubius succeeds. Trigger fails. He's still going to topple over. Here. So. I don't know. What's his transmuter sound set to? This is a poison breath. It is not magical. Which means Trigger's aura doesn't do anything here. Now, but for Rubius. the roll is pretty high, 83, So, which means 83. Rubius takes 41 huh. 
poison damage. Okay. And Trigger takes 41 to... poison damage as well because you are resistant. Uh, here's the con save for uh, keeping concentration. DC 20? Uh, what's the 20. DC? 20. 20. Oof, okay. He might have advantage on that, he but I don't remember. He, he has advantage. Right? He also he gets a plus 6 from me. So. Wait, why does he have advantage? Uh, he has an advantage um... on saving throws against spells and other magical effects. No, it doesn't matter, plus 6 from Trego. From oh, me. Yeah, so right, it's a sorry. 22. I forgot. Question. Forgot. Is the robot in range for a knife throw? Look at his range. 600 is with disadvantage. Oh, sure. Just move. We will need to move. Okay, fine. I'll move another fucking 60. It's gonna take three fucking... I know! I mean, yes. right now, Boris Love is in the Golden Gong. Well, they're completely crazy. I told them I'm gonna be the remitial, but no, they go ahead. Now they breathe poison. Crazy people, crazy people. They just, Hello? just had a curiosity. I have legs, so I do not have wings. <laughs> yeah. It will move. And if Rubius is a transmutation wizard, does he have a transmutation stone set to poison? Uh, no, he green has dragons? transmutation stone set to. Uh... Constitution cool. saves. I mean, you could yeah, have given yeah. him the antitoxin if you remembered about him. You didn't. Yeah, that's true. We could give it to him now. It's gonna be like yeah. the same. Oh no, we didn't kill Lord Edge's son. No, he killed himself with bad commanding. Yes. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what happened. We didn't kill Rubius. He killed himself by not asking us about poison true. resistance. All right. Anyway. Um, also, for the record, uh, you could not have moved to the golem right now because you can't use a legendary action at the end of a legendary action, only at the end of oh. another creature's turn. Yeah, but we want to use it like at the end of um, our own turn, turn, dragon turn, yeah. just like dragon she occurs. We want uh, to okay, sure, like sure, sure, sure. Turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, makes sense. All right, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, so, can you confirm that I'm now ten feet above ground? I don't see. It's on the but dragon. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I think so, That's yes. Incredibly cool. hard. Alright. Um, Leos, that was your turn. Uh, now yes. go Arliss to your turn. I am now you know that to... you're in range of terrible stuff. Yeah, and I'm also not actually in range to do anything. Wait, maybe I am actually. I don't know. Like, I know I need to measure from here. You did pick up a distance range. spell. <laughs> Yeah, I am in range, but um, I am going to drink a potion of invulnerability. I'm going to roll my d100 here. That might be half, so... Uh, I don't know what nope. it is, 43. Nope, it works normally. Both? Okay. So start counting your be. minute. Yeah, I will. I don't think you have any other potions that work for a minute, right? No, I don't. Is Does that. haste potion work for a minute? Yes. Did we roll for it? Yeah. Uh, I did roll for it. All right. So basically, it's gonna stop at round nine because you drank it right before. Okay. Then, then I will. Uh, sure. Okay. And um, then I will. Add and your stops at round. at end, well, your stop at round end of round nine, and your stops at end of round ten, basically. Um, okay. Uh, so this is the start now of the second turn uh, with haste. Yeah, yes, yes. I'm considering okay. my funnest options, guys. Anything else you want to do? How much fun do we want to have? How much fun the do we want to have here? The, the maximum. maximum. I do yes. advise the maximum. Fuck, I lost my I'm chair. I'm gonna uh, look to the others and say, see you on the other side. And Shut I would like bitch. to a bonus action uh, dimension door. <laughs> so you okay. quicken Ladies. it. Uh, I am going to bonus action quicken dimension door. Okay. Right on. Uh, I would like to like uh, aim for somewhere on that huge mass. Of uh, yeah. Let me pick up the enter as a creature rules. Um. What happened to the tactic stick with Trego so you get more <laughs> Yeah, that's like a tactic stick with Trego works well with enemy has uh, breath attack. Um 
I'm fucking ready for the fun. Just you wait. Yeah, that was. Um, make me an athletics or acrobatics check. Oh yeah, they're both. I'm using Tides of Chaos on my acrobatics check yeah. here. Um. Well, thankfully for you, what? she needs. Oh, nice! Look at this. It's actually yeah, the minus three applies, so this is perfect. It's a definitely just. Are you doing out. lucky? I don't have lucky. Oh. oh. Okay. Right, I was gonna say you. You're lucky. Yeah. Her dexterity is terrible because she's big as a mountain. But. I mean, I'd also not. I'd also argue I'm not trying to like do anything uh, that would be covered by the normal rule here. Oh wow! And she rolls for natural twenty on her acrobatics check. Um, yes, it's basically you trying to hold on as she is in movement because, as you remember, this is all happening at the same time, so technically she is currently in flight. Um, if it wins, uh, you move. Uh, it's fun that it doesn't say what happens if you fail, because which basically means you, you are mid air, I guess. Yeah, so I guess you are mid-air and currently not connected to her. I mean, she uh, Yeah, whatever. Which... I mean, it's still my turn. Don't I just fall on yes, top of her? Yes, you do. And then you're going to start falling off her. Sure, I don't understand that part in the logic here, but... Alright. Um, Imagine... Uh, I don't know. Very slowly flying plane, and you just teleported right on top of it. That's way bigger than the plane. Sure. Very big, very slow flying plane. Just teleport on top of it. Very Your rough. dexterity check it's was fine. to it's grab fine. onto the plane and yes. move with it. You yes, failed. That was not what I was expecting. It's fine. Uh, it's the end of my turn. Right. Uh, okay. At the end of uh, what's his face turn. Uh, sure. the golem will move. Alright. <laughs> I mean, if he's in rage, that's not... He should probably just throw his daggers, because it's not that... Like, the melee attack isn't that much better than the range one. Do oh, what well. you want to do. Yeah, uh... you can move. Okay, uh, so that was Ardis, it's Rubius' turn. Okay. <laughs> As a reminder, he does have his own flying speed of pretty much a lot. Uh, he does. He does. Um... Okay, what's the range of that? Ah, uh, he's in range for nothing, right? Oof. Um... Yeah, nothing is... Yeah, that's all out of range. Um... Um, he's going to cast, um, he's going to cast Wall of, wait, wait, one second. Uh, seems that. I'll be back. Um, okay, he's going to cast Wall of Force right in front of Leos as a, as a dragon, and he, no, that doesn't work, that's... Right, think on that. I'll be back. So essentially what I want to do, but but I don't know, it, it, so essentially he casts Wall of Force in front of Leos and drops it whenever I get to move again on my turn. So anything that comes straight at us is essentially blocked. That's a good idea. You're, You're muted, muted. Them. Might work, yeah. I will ask Dan if, the, uh, if that works or if the, because everything's happening at the same time. Yeah, yeah, I should. Bullshit. 
I love that. Done his last turn. I love that. That said, him was. Do we want maximum fun? And then he does what he wants. And then, oh, that this is not at all. This is fun. minimum fun. This, the ruling this shit, is minimum this is fun. Shit! But... I didn't want to do this. <laughs> no, no, I wanted to do this. I just wasn't expecting. You couldn't land on top of whatever hundreds of feet this is. Yeah, super giant. Yeah, it seems a little weird. That it... Imagine you're looking at terrain and trying to teleport there. Then no. <laughs> oh man, I mean, I can't really do anything other than probably bless on my turn. Honestly, honestly, I I think I think it might also be the wrong moment for uh, for him to turn into. Uh, okay, then here, yes. here's what I want to know if I can yes. do this. Um, can Rubius essentially cast the wall of force, uh, um, a, a wall of force right in front of Leos, and then just drop it whenever I, as dragons, uh, want to continue move? Yes. Okay, then you I can would drop like your concentration at any point. Uh, yeah, that would drop uh, concentration on stone skin then. Mm -hmm. um, but essentially what I want to do is create like a wall of force that protects us from any following breath weapons as long as uh, uh, Dragon Dios has It sounds as a, like a very good idea, yeah. Alright, yeah, then, he does that. Dope. Then that's uh, his action. Um, his stone skin and... Um, oh shit, that was the wrong way. And yeah, that's his turn. Alright. Uh, in that case, at the end of his turn, the Mother of Dragons is gonna use two more legendary action as you watch her guzzle. Next, called the guzzle. And uh, there's like a throat of a goose, doesn't matter. Uh, as her throat expands once more under the pressure of a breath contained inside. But instead of poison leaving her mouth, you see as a stream of liquid pushes forward. And right before it would re reach you and cover you all in this liquid, it slams into your wall of force barrier. And you just watch the giant spout of acid that she has just ex oh exhaled God, grip of the invisible wall and you watch the ground beneath immediately begin to smoke and steam as the grass <laughs> begins interacting with the acid. Um, dope. Thank dope. you for letting me do this. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's so cool. I mean, yeah. I used my breath weapon only because he did this. <laughs> 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 anyway, it's Trego's turn. Okay, I will... I'm writing Leos. Uh, I will... <laughs> Thank you for clarifying uh, that! As your action? Do you just as sit there, action. riding? Riding. <laughs> put, put another quarter in? No, I'm just like, um, <laughs> I am going to, as an action, uh, cast Bless. And then, uh, yeah, but the targets, so right. Uh, I'm going to cast Bless on myself. On... Uh, who has the bless effect on him already? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna give I'm I'm gonna give everybody one last hint. If you, ladies and gentlemen, have any forms you would like to transform into. Mm -hmm. Oh right. Well, bless is still good. Wait, no. This isn't this even my final form. <laughs> oh man, but I do need to. Yeah. Okay, fine. Anyway. I'll use bless. No, yes. No, no, then... No, fuck bless. Uh, I'm gonna... As an action, I will turn into the Elder Champion. Oh, right. Was that when you become this beam of sunlight? No. No, that's Corona form. Oh, this is a level 20 feature. <laughs> this is... Ooh. Trego's beard becomes uh, green, his hair becomes green. Uh, you don't see much because of his... Uh, armor but like his skin starts to be like bark like wood bark look you can use a bless still as a bonus action now <laughs> yes but i would like <laughs> true uh but i would like to use my bonus action to change sun warrior into a sun lance nice right uh and you uh, haven't get... and you haven't found the picture for us to look at 
I, the one I sent you. Three months ago? For that? I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll fine, I'll look for that. But um, <laughs> do I get the 10 hit points on this chart? Or uh, only next turn? No. Uh, start. Yeah, no, it's not start of your turn. Your turn has already started. <laughs> so, okay. Not this turn. Alright. Uh, you do that. Uh, sure. Uh, bam, 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 bam. Well. Hmm. I mean, uh, uh, yeah. Check. Oh yeah, yeah. That's 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 nicely within range. All right. Uh, is it the end of your turn, Trigger? Yes. All right. At the end of your turn, as a muzzle dragons, it's gonna use for legend reaction. Reach around. Gaze at Arliss, who is currently tumbling down her back. And sure. go for you with her mouth. Yeah. Pretty sure she's yes. like, yes. Arliss, like super eat, unnoticeable. Eat, eat me. Please eat me. That's just like dirt, <laughs> dirt falling off her back. She's not going to notice You that. have advantage on her, but she has no effect. Uh, so she just got go her number rolls. So I mean, let's hit, see. Hit, no worries. All right. She can't hit unless it's a natural. Thirty-four one. to hit. <laughs> yes, it hits. Uh, she bites down on you hard for thirty-two points. Uh, half I don't to think sixteen. Damage. Yeah. Why? I'm invulnerable. Invulnerability gives okay. you resistance, not no. immunity to damage. It's the spell that I gives you immunity. Good. The portion of invulnerability gives resistance. Oh god. To everything. That's oh, a god. that's a shit name oh, for a potion. God. Oh god. I did not calculate. You've been talking <laughs> for a couple <laughs> sessions <laughs> about <laughs> you having double hit points. No, my, minus 16 you said? Okay. Yes. Uh, and I believe okay. you're still immune to poison. Me. Yes, swallow me. Yes. No, she doesn't. Motherfucker. <laughs> and considering her size, she just like... She like, it, it's not even piercing damage, it's slashing damage as one of her fangs just gouges you, basically. Uh -huh. And like, each fang is just like a tree going at you. Alright, uh, that's it. Uh, Melora, it's your turn. Alright, I got a question, because I don't remember if we ever discussed this spell or not, and how, if, or if the effects stack. Storm of Vengeance. Okay. Um... Do all the spells like con like it starts off with the two d six thunder damage? Mm -hmm. Round two, you add the one d six. Like, does everything stack, and I get all of that damage no. once we get to the later rounds? Uh, no, no, no. See, each round you maintain consideration. The spell produces different effects on your turn. So, round two you get different acid. or additional? No, no, no. It says different. It does on the one I have says additional effects. Hold on, let me post it. That's why I wanted to check and make if sure. If it were additional effects, the spell would be actually good, but it isn't. Uh, both I have say different. Yeah, it says additional on roll 20. Uh, the PHP says additional effects. But I've seen forums where they say that's up to the DM's discretion. That's why I wanted to check with you first. The PHP says additional. Uh, let me check Rata for but this. The, but they don't. Uh, the additional effects don't stack. They they occur. Doesn't say anything about that. Uh, all right. PHP is incorrect. The latest Rata says additional effects is now different effects. Okay, then that's it. Mm, okay. No, so so they nerfed it. it? Yeah, they, they nerfed a shit spell. That's, yeah. No, additional would have been pretty good. Like, if you could like, accumulate every round, like, by high rounds, you get a lot of stuff. Yeah, th th that's, uh, then it would uh, be essentially an army killer. I mean, it is an army killer as it is, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's fair. Alright, uh, what are you doing instead of Storm, then? Oh, that one.
Yeah, I'm not in any range for her to do anything. Um... Not even call lightning? Don't you have... No, call lightning's um 120 feet. Ah, shit. Okay. All right, then, because it I has mean... to be under the cloud, so yeah. You could hold yeah. your action to summon it when you're in range. That's if we can get in ranged before the start of the next round. <laughs> I mean, I will go before you. My whole turn will be moving. I think it's a safe bet. But it's your turn, you do. You. It could... I think she could just, like, dodge now, and then when her next turn comes up, she can do it. Yeah, works too. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do that then. Uh, you'll go ahead and do what? Take the dodge action. Okay. Uh, in that case, round two! Lair action! Okay, do we want to get the ship closer? So it's yes. in range with for the lunic... Lunaric, lun fuck my life beam. <laughs> yeah. I, um, which does this is the sixty feet option? That is the zero feet. Or uh, it's also sixty feet. Um, but I think we just need to move it one twenty. Uh, as a reminder, cast, yeah, so. if you would use a sixty feet version this time, you can't use it next time. You have to change and also your actions. We, we won't be within range to use either attack option. Sure. So we need to take the 120 option anyway. That's why I asked, where do you place your ship? <laughs> Alright, are you done with that? Nice. Yes. Now I'm gonna use my legendary action. Uh... You mean lair action? Oh yes, lair action, sorry about that. As... At the end of the lair action turn. As uh, the Mars of Dragons... Uh... Still kind of like... You're basically like staring at her nozzle as she hasn't really retreated her mouth yet and... Well, you see the size, you can guess the Wallow size me, difference. Me. She growls at you. As she said... As she says... Um, you wanted to go for a ride, little mortal. Let's go for a ride. I will show you my new world. And I'd like to make a wisdom thing. Oh, that's adorable. With some saving throw? Yes. You are fairly good at those. I mean, I can't save here, so... Ah, uh, it's a lair action. The DC on those is pretty different. 15. Oh. 15, right? Uh... I don't... Um, no, it's... It's... Uh... Minus 3 plus 1? Yeah, uh, there's a um, plus 6 too many. It's not a 15. It's not a 15. Fuck. It's basically minus 6. Oh wow, it's a, that's it's a nine. That's, oh, it's a you nine. forgot to remove Tregora. Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, no. In that case, you fail it. Yeah. Which means you are charmed. Um. Okay. And there is a token for that. Um. Uh, and. Yeah. All right. And uh, Zardos, it is your turn. Uh, okay. China's dragon. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. So yeah, I will grab thirst and the weapon of warning in one hand, in each hand, and also look to Trago's weapon and cast. This is fifth level. Add to all three weapons. Mind Razor. Oh. Um, well, that's pretty dope. 
So my Sunlands now does an additional 1d8. I'm pretty sure it should be Concentration. Yes. Alright, because it doesn't say there. Um... Do I need to put an effect on myself? Oh yeah, because I haven't put it into the... Uh, oh, there's no spell effect for this. Um... I'll remember it with the extra D2 that I have. I can do the end of its next turn. Alright, yeah, sure. Um, that's your action. Anything else? Uh, hang on, I gotta double check to see if this is a bonus action. So you used your four styles personal for this, right? Uh, fifth. fifth. Oh, so you, Trigger, and. Yeah, both fifth. my weapons and Trigger. Oh, both your weapons, alright. Sorry, I yeah. Alright, I should listen better. <clears throat> anyway, then I will, yeah. Then I will expend five essence points to increase thirst. It takes no action, nothing, blade. right? Bonus action. Yeah. Uh, Hemo blade. <laughs> Buff it till it bursts. All right. And that's it. Alright, don't forget to expand your... your turn. The golem will move again. <laughs> He's coming. Uh, don't forget, it's, yeah, at the start of Zarus' turn, you got all your legend reactions back. That was your... Yeah, I put three and now I put two. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else? No. Alright. So, it is the Mars of Dragon's turn. Can I take multiple actions like you do? Uh, no, because I don't take multiple actions. Okay. <laughs> you said, like, she takes two uh, legendary actions to do this, or...? Yes, no, because it, it, I have legendary actions. actions that cost more than one thing. Oh, okay. I think... Legendary okay, actions good. are essentially a resource yes. uh, that you expend. Got it. Okay. You're not cool enough. Yeah, never right. DM'd in this level. So she flies ahead. Kind of funny, leaving Carlis continue to tumble down her back. <laughs> um, which gets her, if we count from her wing, within 90 feet of most of you. And she's gonna use her multi attack to do frightful presence first. I'd like each creature, uh, including the passengers of uh, Hiron's uh, Talon, uh, or more like the pilot of Hiron's Talon, uh, to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, does Hero's Feast help here? Uh, does it? Uh, yeah, Hero's Feast fear. makes yeah. immune to fear. Right. I mean, with that, yes. Um, okay, cool. We do not, not have a stat block for the pilot of Heron's wing. I mean, that's not the. the He's a brave has... little gnome. He has 10 in every single status. Oh, all right, his intelligence is more. Okay, so. Mm. But he's brave? He has advantage? Sure. Uh, shit, where is <laughs> Not like it'll matter. <laughs> I mean, he can't make this, right? Doesn't oh. matter. Uh, will be use wisdom saving throw. I try. Ooh. Ooh. Huh? You and have a plus six. You know, being so inside the 20, goal. Right? Yeah, 20 won't save. Right. This. Anybody else was out? Um, Hero's Fist? Zardos? Uh, yeah, I still have mine. Okay, cool. Melora doesn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but I rolled. Uh, somebody else oh, didn't. Right. Who drink, drank antitoxin? Right, right, but you have your... Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, both Rubis and Milora, you failed your wisdom saving throws. 25, right, yeah, I assume. Even with a plus oh. 6? Uh, that's a 24, yes, you fail it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, both of you become frightened, including the pilot of Hiron Stellan. So how this works? Uh, you are all frightened. While you, Milora, are in Trigger's aura, the frightened effect is suppressed. I think. 
By what? Uh, by his aura of courage. Yeah, can't be frightened. Ah, uh, no, it just can't be frightened. All right, sure, no, that's Milor, in that case, you're not frightened. Uh, so that and leaves... Rubius either, right? Mm, yeah, all right, sure. So this just means uh, Minotaur, uh, not Minotaur, Hero Stallions. Hero Stallion is right. King's Wing. But if is... I get out of... No, 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 I'm sorry, no, 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 if I get no, out of it. No, 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 you're just not frightened. Okay. So yeah, uh, Heron's Wing is the only one who's frightened, which basically means it uh, can't approach. Uh, uh, it see, can't uh, approach? Yes, it can't approach. Oh my god, okay. Also technically because the pilot is making the attack rolls, uh, the, yep. that thing will be a disadvantage. It's ba it's basically gone for the rest of the fight. Uh, not really. It can't move towards us anymore, and it'll basically not attack. Oh, you can move so, towards yeah, it. Yeah. We can we can retreat to it and make yeah. mother right. dragons come Let to us. Let me continue with my chomping, and then I'm gonna make three attacks: two with my claws and one with my tail, and she's big enough to reach all of you. So, does the wall help here? Ah. Wall gives full cover, right? Yes, from the front. But she forgot about that, so she hits the wall. It, I, I mean, it's your it's your ruling. The the mother of dragons is fucking gigantic. Yeah, I'm sure the tail's gonna whip yeah. around. Yeah, like her breath was narrow enough that it is stopped by the wall, but with her claw, she's just gonna go. Especially since she is aware of the wall, she knows it there. She knows something is there. Um, I'm wondering who he, she hates the most, because none of you have heard her. No, I know who she hates the most. The Golden Dragon? Yes, but she knows you're not a real dragon. Uh. She knows, however, that someone has killed her child. So she's gonna go for Traga. Yeah. <laughs> uh, left Claw. 26, terrible roll. Oh, wait, uh, does that hit? Uh, 23 plus 2 for Melora, that's 25. I could parry that. After you. Fucking parry them. Yeah. Every attack. Yeah, yeah, every attack. I still have, uh, I'll tell you, wait. I still have two more parries. So this is one, now I have right. one more parry. So as this like building size claw descend upon on Trager, you somehow manage to not so much parry it as use your shield to bounce yourself off of it and negate uh, the force. But as you do so, her right claw comes down on you for <laughs> also 26 to hit. That hits. <laughs> that hits. And the claw is uh, 24 points of slashing damage as she bruises you. And then you see the tip of her tail swing under the dragon and hit you like a whip from behind. Well, I assume it hits. I don't know. Let's check. Uh, 35 to hit. Yes, it hits. Mm -hmm. uh, for uh, 19 points of piercing damage. Well, doesn't matter, but sure. Uh, all right, that's her action and she gets her legendary actions back. Taram, uh, taram, taram. Uh, legendary action to move the golem? Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking sure. about yeah. Just you can also move. Mm. move is fine. Move is fine here. I think we're yeah. soon within uh, other range, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. the normal range, not the yeah. disadvantage range. Yeah. So he'll move. Right. Be thankful that the, go that the golem is immune to being frightened. I'm pretty sure. I wonder what Boris Slav is doing inside of the golem, but he's not in control, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh <my God! laughs> I'm, not, I'm not looking outside. I'm not looking. <laughs> He's actually just sitting in a tooth cavity of of, of the golem, and he's just doing whatever. Borisov is just imagining what happens if she like grabs the golem and like opens her mouth and like just gurgles acid into the face grill of the golem. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh, it is gonna be a really good commander soup. Oh, I hope she doesn't do this. <laughs> All right, uh, it's uh, Leo's uh, your turn. Okay, well, uh, first of all, um, I would like to move 
Uh, 90 feet, and I think that brings us right next to her, right? Yeah, so that means uh, that was Rubius dropping the wall? Uh, yes, correct. Right. Um, so that was a bit of movement. Okay. And... Do I use my breath weapon on her, or do I just slam into her? I don't know. You do you. Do you have airbags? I, I'm gonna attack as a dragon. I'm gonna yeah. do my multiple attack. Uh, so, uh, bite. As you're is... literally like trying to bite at her tail that is currently kind of retreating. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that's a 23 to hit. Ah, uh, your teeth just go off the scales. Oh, yeah. No imagine. penetration. The, you... Ah, uh, sorry. That's with a blessed. Yeah, sorry. I didn't... There was a Discord window. Uh, 30. Uh, 30 does, yeah. You managed to, like, scratch through the claws. 16 points, points of slashing of damage. damage. And that's, that's, that's first blood, technically. <laughs> and <laughs> a 25 to hit. Uh, 25 hits. That's an another 16. And with my hasted action... Oh... Um, wait, what, what What? was I able to do with my hasted action? Dodge, disengage, dash, dash, disengage, attack. hide. Or take one a, attack. Or use an object. So I'm gonna attack with my bite again. Alright. Um, so nice. that's a 35 to hit. Yep, that definitely hits. Um, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna t take us to the uh, to the ground for ten additional feet. So, uh, so if someone falls, they have a somewhat soft landing. All right. Um, and yeah, I think that's my turn. More is yeah, I'm done. At the end of your turn, the golem will move. Oh, let's see. Oh, that's... Uh, no, wait a moment. Fuck. Let me check, because I think I had fiction on which press weapon I could use when. Uh, she can't use another one until... Alright, uh, she had a new turn, so she can use uh, whichever breath she wants. Do I want to spit on you, or do I want to breath on you? You want to brush your teeth, that's what you want to do? Yeah, alright. Uh, okay. Uh, you watch as, while you dive down, she kind of like moves her leg out of the way, and you are this as you tumble down her back, just notice as some of the like, Spines growing between her scales just go shink, 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 disappearing into her, and you watch as she literally exhales a torrent of about foot long needles or hardened scales top down on you. Considering the size of the cone, everybody is hit. Me too? Ah, uh, no, no, it's you. You're safe, <laughs> safely tumbling off her back. Excellent. Uh, I'd like. Everybody uh, to make a dexterity saving throw. I think Milora was dodging, but I'm not sure. Yeah, she was. She has advantage. And I'm not sure if portion of speed gives anything. It does give advantage too. Haste gives advantage. Oh shit! I should. Oh, I, I forgot to to add the bless to my sa uh, last saving throw, but it doesn't matter. Um, you have sure advantage, you Milora. Anyway. You critted. That's why I said thank God. Uh, my deck safe is a 33. Alright, everybody roll, then we're gonna talk numbers. Did everybody roll? Oh, sure. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think well, that's everybody. Well, I, yeah, and that's, I think, the last we saw of Rubius. Alright, uh, how much did you say there was on you? Uh, I have um, rolled a 23 plus 6, 29 plus blessed 33. Alright, uh, that's a success. Uh, Trigger is 10, that's a fail. Milora is a 27, I think. Uh, yep. That's a success. Mm -hmm. uh, Zardos is not even 20, that's a fail. And our cancel Rubius I'm is. Gonna... Yes? Yeah, I'm gonna end down the wall. Alright, go for it. 
Come on. Number That's plus six. 20? That's 20. No, plus, plus two. Plus. 22? That's a fail. Yeah, 22. Uh, Alright, so everybody who fails takes 66 points of piercing damage. Oh no, um, Rubius. You poor soul. 66? Yes, 6, 6. Everybody who succeeds takes 33. So, uh, Melora and uh, Leos. And my temporary hit points are gone. Oh, right. Oh, oh I have some hit points. Because my hit points are just almost gone. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I can't see your hit points. Who's? The Tregos. Uh, because they're very, small, very small. You can I see can a see very them. slim red bar there. I they're right see. under you. Oh, yeah, if I zoom into 250%. <laughs> Well, I mean... If I use this microscope... <laughs> can, can you move his token to front? It is. It, it is on front. front. It is on front. Oh, for me not. That's weird. Okay, never mind. Carry on. It's okay. Oh. It doesn't matter. I'll just try really long. Alright. Uh, anyway, uh, that was uh, your turn, Leos. And now it is Aris's turn. Okay, do I need to make a save or some shit? Uh, well, for starters, you fall. Well, onto her back or where am I? Oh, uh, no, 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 you tumble off her back. Okay, I am falling down. Uh, let's but say I'm, I'm gonna give you down. another dexterity saving throw. Try and grab on. Uh, I should be correct now. 10. No. With Stan, you come down, da, tum, da, 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 da. you come down, tumbling off her back. I'm thinking where you teleported. I'm gonna say you fall a good 200 feet. She's that high up? Yeah. Whatever. Oh, well, fuck. she's flying and she's Whatever. very tall. Don't you have like Nidala with you? No. I mean, she's in the back, but I don't have. Oh her. fuck. And it doesn't matter, I can't be on top of her, I can't teleport with her oh. or anything. There you go. So half of that. Half of that. And you are basically on the ground uh, over there somewhere. Does taking damage trigger a save for, against the uh, charm? Let's maybe? see. Uh, no. You're still charmed. Crap, that's dangerous. So, it is your turn. Nah, it's not dangerous. I'm not gonna do anything to you. I'm just also not doing anything to her. Well, since I am down there, I am just going to quicken fly on myself. Um, yeah, see if I can get some... Oh, that might be close. Ah, oh, that's the exact same number I fucking needed for a surge. Nice. Let's go. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> We will be taking option, option one, two. of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I mean, one. that's how you get reborn, right? That is how you get reborn, but no. Um, and then I'm probably prone on the floor. Oh yes, definitely. Uh, then I will. Like you fell so high, I'm not there. giving you a saving throw for that. I mean, technically, I could like fucking cheese this and get up first and then cast the spell. And sure. still have a lot of movement left. And you'd over. have 30 feet of fly and... left, yeah? Hmm? You'd have 30 feet of fly left? No. I mean, you have I 30 feet of movement, feet. you get yeah, up I using... Half... No, I no, 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 no. That, that's not how it minus works. Minus 15? No, it doesn't get... It doesn't get... matter. I am going to be moving uh, up 90. I'm still going to be in range with her either way. In a uh, second. Okay, sure. I'm just gonna. I'm basically rising up, like, and flying a little towards her. Okay. Because I am definitely in her reach, right? <laughs> yes. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do that, and I'm mm -hmm. gaining, going up to like. Oh God, how do I track all of this? Uh, I, I mean, I, I can't read know. the tokens I have. Like, even if at 250, I can't read my. <laughs> That's <laughs> why I have a piece of paper to write stuff on. Yeah, but you insist we can fucking keep buffs on this sh on this one here, but I am going to do it differently. Um, and I used my action since I am still charmed, I can't do anything to her anyway, so I'm just getting 
closer to her and flying up her butt, basically. Um, okay. Do I get an additional save against this effect or anything like that? Uh, no. Okay, great. In that case, I will continue doing nothing. Yeah. I am done. Alright, it's the end of your turn. And uh, she's gonna... I mean, let's finish what we started. Let's bite track once more time. 31? Oh! No, I haven't beat... Have I beaten you before? Well, it doesn't matter. I don't think I've beaten you before. Uh, because that's uh, 36 points of slashing damage. And 15 points of poison damage. I'm down anyways. Alright. And this brings us to Rubius' turn. Uh, well, he is uh, dead or unconscious, I don't know. Mm, roll me this saying throw for him. Uh, that's he has a name. A straight d20, right? <laughs> yes. Seven, that's a fail. That's a fail, Five. write it down. Uh, one red. Alright. Uh, I... Trigger. Uh, does the uh, 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 hmm? thing have legendary actions left? The golem? No. Okay. I mean, you can control him, so. Uh, yeah. Trigger, your turn. Yeah, I get 10 hit points back. You do? From my form. I'm pretty sure it doesn't end when I go unconscious. Yeah, it doesn't say so. Alright. Okay, so that's in. the start of my turn. As a... Right. Bonus action... Uh, I mean, my, my, my condition is sucky. As my first um, trick. I will... Yeah, let's do it. I'll cast Bless. As a bonus action, because why not? I can't. Uh, let's do it on uh, myself, uh, Zardos. I think Leos has already the effect of Bless. Yeah, yeah me too. Oh, you too. Okay. Um, what's the range on it? It's 30 feet. Yeah. yeah. 30 I mean, feet. it would have been fun to cast it on Golem, but... <laughs> yeah, I wanted to cast maybe on Golem. Uh, let's give it to Rubius, I guess? Rubius, Miller, and myself? Uh, yeah. I mean, it will help with his death saving throws. It should. Uh, let me just put the concentration on Also, the technically he saved his death saving throw because he was in Trigger's Aura. Alright, oh, he gets a plus six. Where's Bless? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, I got it, okay. Uh, death saving throw, Tragus Aura gives plus 6 to saving throws. But he was unconscious at that time, so it's still a fail on his death save. No, it's only Tragus Aura. No, so if I fall unconscious, unconscious, he doesn't get it. Well, weren't you unconscious? Oh, Tragus Aura. Might... Yes, he was unconscious. Pop up? Oh, right, you're, no, you're this... right. Wasn't Tragus yeah. unconscious afterwards? No, no. When... No, no, no. Oh, Rubius goes right before me. Okay, yeah, then true. True. Alright, so in that case he does fail that. <laughs> okay. And as an action, I will attack. Alright. I'm looking forward to your numbers. Uh, so this is a lance. This is a lance. Cool. And you... No, you don't get advantage because she is bigger than you. Uh... I still have bless, so 35? Bless. Oh, 35 just barely hits, yes. <laughs> no, not barely, it hits. Actually, I have an extra 1d2 and a 1d8, one from Zardus, one from my Enlarge. Uh, yes. 1d2 is fucking best. Yes! Max uh, damage! 1d2 is like physical damage, right? Yeah, it's a lance damage. <laughs> no! Uh, <laughs> 2 psychic damage. Alright. Look at the fucking radiant damage, that sucks. Okay, uh, next attack. Oh. Shit! Nah, Damn. No. Yeah, that's a miss. Unused mm -hmm. to the unwieldy form of your lens, you curse yourself and your lack of training. As your bad strike bounces off her fails, 
uh, bounces off her scales without any harm. And scales you want to do? Mm, that's it. Alright. Uh, at the end of your turn, she's gonna bite you again because you just won't stop, stand, stay down. And that's a 33 to hit. Mm-hmm. For oh shit, I shouldn't have cast less than that. Total of 30 plus 17 points of fighter's damage. I think you're resistant to poison right now, yes? Yeah, because of anti so but that doesn't matter. Uh, I have only 10 hit points. Yeah, but that matters for... Oh wait, if you go unconscious, you lose concentration anyway. So yeah. Shouldn't have cast a concentration spell. Um, it's okay, it's a level 1 spell. Um, yeah, that, that's a minus 2d8 radiant damage that you didn't do. <laughs> Alright, uh, that was a legendary action, and that uh, brings us to uh, Melora. Alright, I'm gonna cast level 7 heal on Trigo to get him back up. Hold it. Eight. So that should be. God, how many? I think it's 10. So 80? Mm hmm. Cool. Thanks. All right. Um, in that case, at the end of your turn, she's gonna use her legendary action, noticing that oh, there she is. Uh, she's gonna use her legendary action to bite at you, Milora. All right. Or as she does, she speaks in Draconic. I shall grant you the court as you didn't grant my children. Swift death. Uh, that's 33 to hit. For 24 uh -huh. points of slashing damage and you're immune to poison. Uh, are you concentrating on anything? No. Alright. In that case, that's it. Uh, that's the end, I assume, of your turn. Uh huh. Uh, which brings us to new round, a new fun, which means lair action. Oh, they come back. Okay. Uh, lair action. Do not they have anything to get rid of uh, the the frightened condition? I don't think so. On the ship. Uh, I don't think so either. There is nothing. That's they will try at the end of their turn. Oh, okay. But yeah, I'm not um, sure they can. Success. They can't make. They can't make the save. And there is uh, nothing in their in their spell list that. Uh, Wait, isn't the lifeline brothers are on the ship as well? Yeah, but they are not the ones that are maneuvering the ship. They're just on top on top of their casting spells, basically. They can't help mm. us here. It's the gnome that's the problem. So um, the I think spell to fix it. There is no spell that uh, is in there to fix it in their spell list. Prepared spells. They can't get rid of this. Ah, can does heal get rid of this? This build magic? No, it's not magic. I think Greta oh, Ray, Greta, the great don't have restoration it. might. They yeah, but if we can get somebody get into the ship that does no. it. No, if heal doesn't get rid of frightened, then we can't do anything. No, they're, they're completely fucked. I, I think the only thing literally they can do is uh, shoot with the automatic ballista at yeah, this ballista range. Time. And we would ha have to probably hope for a double natural 20. Yeah, basically. Uh, let's just do it. Yeah. Uh, someone want to press the Nebo Automaton? Nice. Okay, good. Next. Another launch <laughs> that does nothing. Um, all right. Uh, now for her trick, she will use a lair action to summon some Roots. Oh, did I do better? As they burst from this small forest and crawl all around the ground, attempting to pin down the giant golem. I need him to make a strength saving throw. The golem. The golem, I mean. right? Yes. The strength save. Let's see. 
He's pretty good at this. I don't, I don't know if he's proficient or not. Though. He is. He is. Yeah. It, it has plus beneath 16. there. There's a plus 16 that he has. I mean, overall, this, that's pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah. That's you really good. the wrong one. Too. Yeah, but it's 18 plus 9 plus, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, but there is there is a button for this. Just saying. Sure. Like this one. Hitting through. Oh, okay. I didn't know. You can press that because yeah. it's not bold. Okay. It doesn't matter. I wish. In any case, uh, he says he is not restrained, but that is still difficult terrain for him. Fine. Uh, 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 all right. That's layer actions. Uh, Zardos, it's your turn, and you get your legendary actions back. Range oh, and artist, you're no longer charmed. Uh, thank you. You should be. Okay, I was. Well, I'll... Then yeah, I'll take a couple swings while we're here. Yeah, basically, like if you are like adjacent to her, then you are within range. Oh. I could have forced a wisdom saving throw for her to be feared. Yes. Forgot about that. Good luck on that. Uh, anyway, is that is she immune? Oh, awesome. uh, uh, yes. There's only one way to find oh, out. Man. Hammer blade thirst. Ooh, 35 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, uh, it's d8 plus that thing, so that's, uh, that's, that's uh, 23. And the second one also hits. And 25 does hit, 23, and you that hits as well. You have extra on all of these, I think. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's what the psychic is. Okay. Oh, I forgot to add to And you can force well, uh, all of the DCs for fear. The weapon of warning already has it like inside of it, so it, you can just separate it, but it doesn't matter. She's not resistant yeah. to psychic anyway. All right, yeah, you start stabbing uh, at her tail, like finding that spot where Trager has previously carved a channel and uh, while you're not drawing blood you're doing something to her which is which is nice uh, all right any skills can we the fear saves uh sure yeah all right. yes. uh, what's this fantasy um 17, but if it's making it oh, nice. a disadvantage against spell, I guess. So. Mm. Um, I mean, I guess. Uh, well, uh, you notice no changes in her disposition. Yeah, you so. can't even fail this, I think. <laughs> I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, -bum 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 -bum. I don't assume you'd like to jump off the dragon. I uh, thought about it, but I'll hold off for now. Alright. In that case, at the end of your turn. Legendary actions? If you want to. Mm -hmm. We could throw the dagger. Is this a uh, close range? I think so. I think 200 was close range. I don't remember. Yeah, this is yeah, yeah 200 is close range. Yeah, do it. Right. Throw it! Throw it for the wing! Oh yeah! Nice. That's hit. Twenty-four. All right. Yeah, you see, as the knife just goes through the um, bolt, through her wing, and like as it's flying away into the darkness, you see the knife goes and appears back into the hand of the golem. All right. Uh, now it's her turn, and she's got a new target. It is very annoying and hitting other people. So, just gonna make all her attacks against Melora. Left claw. Already? Natural one. Fine. I'll sentinel. Go for it. Come on, crit and blast everything in there. Yeah! Yes! <laughs> you know, wait that, a second. Uh, give me that meme where Antonio Banderas goes. Let's go! Come on! 2D2s! Uh... <laughs> Dude, that's that's 
let's let's smite, of course, with A. <sighs> uh, let's go with. Uh, Do you have a level nine? I have a fifth spell level slot? spell slot. Yeah, I'm going. Well, I'm going with fifth. Let's go. Uh. Okay, that damage sucks, but that damage is okay. That's okay. Yes. Whew, that's a good sentinel right there. That's a uh, value sentinel. All right, right let's there. see. How much was oh, it? Oh, 46. All right. Yeah. As you like, use that moment where she rises her claw to strike at Melora, you basically stab your lance into her claw as she, with her own force, pins herself onto it. And... <laughs> By the way, Trigger, I'm not gonna give you extra damage right now, but you've been rolling damage die for a spear, not for a lance. Oh, it's a fucking well, it's a, it's a different D, yeah, but I rolled yeah. a 4 on a D6, so I guess it's like, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and... Sure, right. Yeah, that's a lot of damage. You don't you see it affecting also. her? But, yeah. Alright, anyway, that was claw left, claw right for Melora. Twenty-seven to hit. Uh, yeah, that does. 26 points of slashing damage. Oh. And she slams you with her tail for 22 to hit. That's a terrible roll. Uh, all my armor's gone. Your armor is 15. I'm pretty sure. 15, okay, yeah. I'm sorry, you said how much? 21? Uh, 22 to hit. You have a plus 2 to AC, oh. not that that's gonna help much. No, it doesn't, that's right. why I was curious. I missed the da I missed the damage, if you called out the damage for, uh, for the claw tail. Claw was 26. No. Did you take the 26? No, that's claw. Alright, no, not yet. I'll let me roll tail. And then, in that case, 27 damage for the tail. As it whips at you, okay. striking you painfully across the back. All right, that's her turn. That's her legendary actions back. And Liz, it's your turn. Okay. Well, uh, since everyone's uh, so nicely parked on my back, uh, except for Rubius, whose corpse, or uh, I will pick up. Can okay. can I just lift him? Sure. Um, and check him as a dragon. Object interaction. Hmm? That's your object interaction, yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> because he's definitely not, not not surviving this round. I'm pretty sure he's gone. Uh, well, any case, um, I do have a couple of questions. Um, how high is this difficult terrain there? I'd prefer if you had a couple of solutions. Uh, it's ground level. Ground level. So if I lift up like 10 feet, yep. I can safely fly above it. Yes. Cool. Then I will do that, and I will use my hasted action to disengage. All right. And then I am going to say, "Yeah, this was fucking bad idea. Let's all get back here and uh, dash back with right. everyone." And I will shout for nothing. That's my turn. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Good on you. Uh, bum, 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 bum. uh that was you uh, uh... at the end of Lucas's turn sure. another knife will be thrown with a 25 to hit and a really awful damage roll how much to hit 25 25 hits so 80 damage all right um in that case, uh, she will use her wing blow, uh, which actually affects Arliss, because he has only one in range. Motherfuck. Uh, so make me... I, I, I mean, I can't make can, the save. I don't but have... try to make me the save the same throw. I'm gonna look at your modifier. No, I can't. Like, okay, I can... I don't remember I have your modifier. Zero. Oh. Then, plus yes, zero minus then yes, three plus one d4. Alright, which means Doesn't. you take uh, twenty-two points of. Um, I actually would like to use tides of chaos on it anyway, even if I know I'll fail it. Sure. Nope. Mm -hmm. uh, I take twenty-two, so eleven. Uh, yes, uh, and you're not strong. 
Um, I am mid-air, but I have fly, so it doesn't matter. I'm just prone mid-air. Can I be prone? Because, yes, uh, I'm a not, prone a... mid-air creature. No, yes, you have a hover speed. It's not flying speed. Yeah, it's not... It's not I don't remember. One. It's I somewhere just... in Xanatars. I think I just remain inert up there. It doesn't matter to me. Sure, I can be 90 feet up, but like horizontally in the air and reeling or some shit. If that's fine by you. Whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, you have hover, so you remain flying. Okay. Uh, I'm just also prone, but yeah. Yeah. Uh, and she's gonna fly up to half her flying speed, which is half of this, uh, which is doesn't calculate. <laughs> so I'm gonna give it to Hexus. Attack of opportunity, Arla? No, just kidding. Uh, um, he never was in, was in reach. Uh, Alright, uh, uh, that's her legendary action, and Alice, it is your turn. Oh, sweet, sweet revenge. If Can I, like, within 60, um, I'm gonna use my movement of 60, like, of, of, uh, I guess I need to get up first or something? Uh, you're flying. Okay, in that case I will just move uh, 60 feet straight towards the closest point that I can see. Alright. Am I now within 30 feet of her body? Uh, yes. I'm not... I, I'm, I'm probably, like, moving to up here or some shit, but yes. yes. Okay, good. I am. So... Right, bitch. Here comes the fun stuff. Okay. Wait a moment, I'm gonna get some tissues out. Yeah, you will need those tissues, let me tell you. Right, I'm this ready. This time you will actually fucking need those tissues. But first we're doing the less uh, harmful stuff. Alright, surprise um, me. So first, uh, it's just gonna be a casually heightened disintegrate. Okay, <laughs> go for it. Oh wait, I roll dex saving throw with disadvantage, right? Yep, you roll. And um, please tell me her natural roll. I mean, she'll use her legendary save. It won't matter. But... Seven. Seven natural. Yes. I don't think she has a plus thirteen. She can't have that. No high. way. Oh wait. No uh, way. No, I'm lying. Sixteen. Is her natural roll? Yes. So uh, she gets a straight roll yeah. because she has disadvantage yeah. and advantage. Yes. Uh, 16. I don't even think I can bend that down far enough to get like a... Ah. Fuck it. I won't have any sorcery points after this anyway. Um, so yes, I'm going to just bend luck it downwards. Right. And since I heightened this, let me check for sorcery points. Three. Ah, that's a no. My tides is still up, but then for my bonus action, right. wait a I... moment. She is gonna use her resistance to dodge that yeah. shit. Oh, it actually worked. Yep. Okay. Did you see Good. Speech um, I need to distract my level six. Um, for my bonus action, I would like to trigger wild magic surge, okay. or rather surge control. Okay. And I will trigger one very specific surge, and it is called You and all creatures within 30 feet of you gain vulnerability to piercing damage for the next minute. Okay. And everything around us here is piercing damage. As you see a wave of... Yeah. I don't know, iridescent light go all through her body, and she will be no save available um, vulnerable. What does this. vulnerable mean? Double damage. Uh, no, all, you do this! Piercing. I couldn't, I was charmed. I would have done it earlier. But okay. now she's vulnerable to all piercing damage. Alright. Well, nobody knows that except for you, but not like it matters. There is a, yeah, they're gonna notice in a second. It's not like they have a choice. Alright. Okay, you do that. Um, that was also expanding... Search control. I mean, I don't have any sorcery points to lose, so it doesn't matter. I have zero I sorcery need... points left. Yeah, I used all on this, so. Okay. And my bracer is empty too now. Alright. This is round one. 
Okay. At the end of your turn, Arliss, with your piercing debuff, yes. the piercing wielding golem will throw its dagger. Oh, yes! Go for it, Mr. Golem. 20, 27 to hit with 21 damage. Yep. 22 damage. Here we go! Uh, yep. Ah, already 21. I'm gonna count this damage that I do actually. This Power Ranger Golem is doing its job. Okay. Um, at the end of the turn, and considering your um, moving away, she will. So I did that last. Uh, she will use two field engine directions to breathe acid. And considering the length of her breath, I'd like everybody except Arliss and Ship, so Golem and Dragon and Elbion the Dragon, make me a dexterity sink. So. Oh, come on! So that's an immediate fail for um, yes. Rubius. Okay. Oh, just one, right? Yes. Uh, if it was doesn't it say Dex safe? Yes. yes. It's not proficient, mm -hmm. so yeah, it's just that. You have advantage. Does he? Who does? The dragon does. He has haste, so he has Oh right. Alright. Uh, I think that's everybody, that's right? Good. Uh so plus bless twenty six thirty two. Okay. So, uh, Traeger 10 or 16, no, 10, uh, fail, uh, Zardos 25, fail, Melora less than 20. Uh, it's, it's no, no it's 28, I think, yeah, because yeah, of his bless. Yeah, bless and aura. Alright, sure success. Uh, Melora fails, uh, Traeger fails, uh, Leos 32 succeeds, and, oh Golden yes, fails. it's the Golden fails. Alright. So everybody who has failed takes sixty points of acid damage. Everybody Is that who succeeds, half from toxin? no, it's acid. So everybody who succeeds, yes, everybody who succeeds takes thirty. And it is Rubius' turn. Yes, do please check right. your concentration checks if you have any. Uh, any legendary actions left for the... Do you lose concentration, Golden? No. Not in half a 30. Oh, because he succeeded, yeah. Right. yeah. Good on you. Good on you. He has a plus six. Also. Just barely made it the first time. Uh, Alright. Uh, Leos, roll me for our cancellor. Um, there are no legendary actions left for the Titan, right? For the Golem. No. Not on this round. Ah, shit. Everything cl um, closed. Uh, one sec. I'll be right there with a roll. Greg will be next. Come on, Rubius. Don't die. Oh, right. There is no macro for... That's a fail. I need that to... is a fail. Uh, it's with a plus six. No. That's a nine. Oh. Yes. It is a fail, and he is dead. Yep. He is dead. Well, he was very useful. <clears throat> he did one thing, yes. Yes. All right, and at the end of his turn, she's gonna use her legendary action to uh, and it looks at the golem and goes back and bites at Arvis. I'm willing to die. I've already contributed all I've got to contribute. Well, that's a natural yeah. twenty. Yeah. I mean, I'm taking normal damage from this, uh, because I'm vulnerable sure. to piercing damage. Oh... <laughs> no, she's does slashing damage with her bite. Oh, nice. Alright, so let me calculate. Uh, so I appreciate. For the bite itself, it's uh, a total of 52 points of slashing damage, so half 26. And I believe you're still immune to poison, so ignore that. Yep. So yeah, 
Uh, all right. Uh, that's Rubius, who is... I'm gonna trash him. Well, I shouldn't have trashed him in case somebody revivifies him, but whatever. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, Trego, it is your turn. Um, oh, well. I'm just reading my ability. Well, first of all, I get 10 hit points back, which is nice. As an action... As an action, I will use... Uh... Yes, I will use Solar Flare. So, I don't know how you chuck a lance up to the sky, but that's what's gonna happen. You just do. Uh, right. The point is just within something I can see, so I'm just gonna point center of mass. Alright. Fair enough. Uh, um, yeah. That's an action. Yes. Makes sense. I can also uh, buff it a bit, but I don't think... Like, the buffs only gives me either uh, uh, pinning down, like restraining her. Uh-huh. And, yeah, that's that's it. So I don't think I should use my stuff on that. So default the same. Um. Wait, why default? Oh, right for the for the damage. No, wait. Yeah, so I'll buff it with one solar prominence to make it my DC. Right. And scouts. Uh, wait. I'm just taking down one prominence off. So that's the action. As a bonus action, since I'm a tree person, um, I'm gonna try and revivify uh, Rubius. Shit. Alright. <laughs> Roll it. You can do that as bonus action? Yes, yeah. because I'm a tree person. <laughs> okay, uh, never mind. What, then it's definitely. Yeah. Don't what do I need to roll? Your charisma check? Charisma so, check. And DC is DC. 10, right? Yeah, that's what it used to be. There yeah, we go. Right. He's back! Uh, can you roll initiative for him again? He had a 7. Uh. He had a seven, yeah, sure. Uh, one sec. Um, so let me take off one diamond also. Man, casting spells as a bonus action is fun. <laughs> it really is. Oh, uh, it was, I set it back to seven. Again. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. All right. Sure. Uh, that's your action. That's your bonus action. I think that's it. Mm -hmm. And the spear's up in the sky. And the spear's up in the sky. All right. Uh, Nadora. Uh, God, I don't know if this counts as a no shit moment or not. Oh, can I yell at my turn like, we oh. need to regather our strength? <laughs> sure. Uh... Yeah, that's what we're doing, I mean, but yeah. Uh, I'll hold off on that. I'm gonna do um, Mass Cure Wounds level 8. Okay. You do that. An average roll overall. Alright, that should hit basically everybody on the dragon, including Rubius. Oh, Does it heal the golem? Except for Zardos. Zardos can't heal the golem. No, definitely. not golem and not no? Zardos. Okay. Is that it for a total of 35? Yes. Alright, any skills you want to do? It's your action. Um, it might help. I'll cast um bonus action healing word on um. Wait, can I can do that right? Yeah. Yes. Bonus action healing word on um. We gotta keep him up. Um, Trego. All right. Okay. Uh, anything else? I, I'm like like uh, a cashier at McDonald's. Anything else? Uh, would you like <laughs> a second action with your action? <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> I really want. Would you like to double that for only a dollar fifty? I mean, uh, my PayPal number is five dollars for an extra action. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, now we got microtransactions. Yeah. 
<laughs> I wouldn't call them micro. <laughs> Alright, uh, in that case, uh, that's the end of the turn, which brings us to new round, and let's go take a break. Sounds good. Uh, done by
resume. Oh, wrong. There we go. All right. So we coming back with round something. Round four. As we transmit all the erections, and you guys get to have yours first. Uh, we can only... Oh, wait. We might be in range for something. Mm, I don't think we are, but we can't use the ballistas because we used them last turn. And, yeah, we uh, are not in range for the 300 line. feet one. So I think we just move vertically, vertically to behind where we are right now. And that's going to be it, basically. Move 120 feet, like this direction. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> In that case, I shall. Shall I? I shall buy the seashell by the seashore. Really? Really, really not much to do with his directions. So let's just kill the wall below and move it. Well, you are gonna be. You are gonna be above it, but I'm gonna move the wall over there. Let's make it more visible. Right, uh, their actions. Uh, Zardas. Uh, let's see. A little out of range. So I'm just going to spend some time healing. How do you go about that? Uh, Drink my mm. wine. Yeah, I can drink some of that too. Um, yeah, I'll drink this superior as my bonus. And for my action. You know, this is a potionist approach. There are no potions that are superior. All potions are born equal. <laughs> nah, not really. No. <laughs> Alright, fine. Who's gonna argue with that? And I'll roll for that in a bit, but I will also. Yeah, also. Go ahead and use the. Just so I have it. Oh. I don't. Need to use it so soon, you know? Come on, guys, you um, had 15 minutes to think about this! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna drink the potion and dodge. Alright. Mm, okay. Uh, sure. Sure, 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 sure. All right. So, um, ma. I mean, I'm trying to find a reason not to, and I really see no reasons to not. <laughs> so she's gonna use her legend reaction. The good chomp on our list. Because he's juicy. Mm -hmm. yep. And far away from everybody else. That's 32 to hit. Mm -hmm. uh, 36 points of slashing damage. Minus 18, yes? Yeah. Actually, no. What am I doing? Um, that's not what she's doing. 
because it's her turn, it's not her legendary action. Take that back. Okay. Ah, sorry, I messed up. Oh, then can I use uh, no. Tank Boy's legendary action? Nope. At the end of Tardos' turn? No? Uh, too late. Uh, uh, Shred attacks, claws and tail. Alright, claws first. Uh, 29 to hit. Uh, for 28, well, 14 slashing damage. What are you attacking me? You, 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh. Um, 20, oh, how much damage? Uh, 14. That's already half? Yes. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And 36 to hit for 26, 13 points of slashing damage. Mm -hmm. And then a tail on top for 37 to hit. Yep. For... 29 total piercing 14. damage. So 14. 29 piercing damage. That's already halved? Halved and then doubled. Piercing. Uh, piercing. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, oh, and thank you for remembering it. You are less observed in close proximity, that much like yours, her wounds oh. are slowly sticking back together. Um, also... Yes. Wait, wait, what's it doing? Okay, um, I fall out of the sky thanks to a double natural one. Oh, wow. Uh, after which one? After the first attack. So, basically... Uh, but she can still reach me on the floor, I'm dead, basically. Yeah, so basically you're right now at zero. No, I'm at zero and then she attacks me two more times, so I'm dead. I'm pretty sure I slapped you for death ward. No, oh, no, yeah, no, I have no, death no, ward. no, 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 wait, 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 wait. How high were you? She, uh, 90 feet up is what it says for me. Because basically this means that, let's see... Uh, let's see the damage. Nine, half... Mm. Basically, I think the best way to go about this is that this is going to knock me to one hit point with Death Ward. Yes, because since, uh, with this damage, yeah, her uh, tail attack would have dropped you to zero, basically, yeah. Yeah. There's a master, you're at one hit point now without Death Ward. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, now it would have been Leo's turn. Now we well, want to take the end, legendary action. Yes, at the end of her turn. Yes. Big boy here will throw a dagger. Is she out of range? No, she's not. Uh -oh. range no, 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 I'm talking about... Oh, his reach is only 15. Okay. Oh, 30 technically, but whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Go for it. Uh, oh. 21. Uh, no. It hits like the tough scales on the front of your chest and slides off. All right, now Leo, it's your turn. You're muted. Right. Uh... Wrong. <laughs> well, I... Just want to double check. I think she's far out of range from a breath weapon. I have a feeling that she is. 120 yes. feet. Yeah. Is the range. Yeah. Uh, how close do we need to get to the ship? Okay, I need to check something. If I go. I have 150 feet movement to go there, and then she would be 120 feet away if I see it correctly. If you go there? If I go uh, yes. up yes. here. Yes. So what I'm going to do is go there, use my action to uh, to uh, use my breath weapon, okay. the fire one. Go for it. So that's dexterity? Um, that's a deck save. All right. Okay. Go for it. DC twenty one. Yeah. Roll and it. my macro doesn't. Okay. Right. There we go. Forty nine. Oh, that's crap. 
Uh, by the way, yes, the range is. Oh, yeah, by the way, that's actually not. not it's wrong in there. Is it? Uh, yeah, the 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 sleep is a ninety foot cone. Um, the the the. Let me post the breath weapon here. Uh, so, ninety foot um, line. Sleep is ninety foot cone. So still ninety feet. Did hit. I see the one hundred twenty? Uh, I don't know. Uh, anyway, then I will just get like one closer. Okay. And then use the breath weapon. All right. Uh, so that is one hundred eighty feet of movement that I use. So you have one twenty to retreat. And I have one twenty to ret retreat. Rubius. And Rubius, yeah. All right. So you do this cool maneuver as you glide around the side of the golem, power in place, release your breast weapon, and then swiftly dash backwards, doing a barrel roll. As you watch her just go with her wing, seemingly not giving a fuck about your fire. Not at all? Not at all. Ah, well, now we know that. Uh, so I, I used one hundred. That's it. Eighty to go there. Yeah, with the hasted action, I needed to go back. You have yeah. still a bonus action. <laughs> Dragons don't have bonus actions. Uh, with my bonus action, I will just speak in a sassy dragon voice. Well, that should have worked. Oh my god. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> Alright. Um... At the end of your dragon form sure. turn, a knife will be thrown. A soul 28... has been for a told. Yes, Damn. that hits. For 28, 24, double, 48. Yes. Alright, and as a response to your knife, she's gonna turn around and down Ardis. And that's gonna roll natural one, and I don't roll a natural one, so you're down. You need to roll double natural ones. True. I didn't. Actually, okay, let, let me roll again because I might roll... Well, I don't think I'm gonna kill you with... Yeah, no. I was like, if I kill you but you have too many hit points for me to one-shot you, so no. You just go down yeah, to zero. If you can roll 150 fucking damage on an attack, I'm gonna be impressed. Doubled because you're resistant to stuff? So yeah. Like, yeah. even if your breast weapon could crit, I should not be able to heal to hit you. To heal, to kill you. But yeah, you're unconscious in any way. Um, yep. So she does that. That was her legendary action. And now it is your turn. My turn? Yes. Um, at the start of my turn, yep. I heal for five hit points. Mm -hmm. and I am unconscious, I'm conscious again, so... Which I'm not sure is good for you. I think it is. We'll find out. Um... For my what you do. bonus action, I'm going to convert my level 8 slot into 8 sorcery points. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, up next, she is not within 60 feet of me, huh? She's a little higher up. Uh, yeah, she's about, let me see. Uh, she's actually more like about 120 feet hovering. I need to quickly read this. Let me actually put it on her. Well, she hasn't really changed height much. Yeah, well, she could bite you from 120 feet, basically. I will look from here. I see the heron's wing in the distance. <laughs> okay! As I just casually um, extended a uh, distance dimension door right on top of there <laughs> for a thousand feet dimension door. Let's go. Nice! 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 Okay, just this is smart. Go straight, we'll go straight up here. Um, and that was my action. Um, I did not use any... I did actually use one. So and this is turn two now. One sorcery point. That's not a search. I haven't done that. Okay, and um, since I use bonus action action, 
I am just gonna like uh, groggily stand there between the others. Uh, some help, please. And that'll be the end of my turn. Okay. At the end of your turn. <laughs> mm-hmm. A knife will be chucked. And at the same time, she will use her wing attack to move closer. Oh, so could I go for melee? Oh well. Never no, mind. no, she goes after you. Alright. Plus, you're still not in range with her anyway, so you throw it. But that hits. Okay. Minus 46. For 46 damage. Yep. Um, let me find, check the cutoff line. Uh, uh, Alright. And she did that, so this brings us to Rubius. Um, is he conscious? Oh uh, yes. Oh my god. He's still alive. Uh, uh he was revivified and healed. Fuck, I, I wasn't prepared. I was not prepared. Double dragon? It is time double dragon. to double dragon. Uh, he is not high level enough to turn into the same dragon as you. Uh, oh, fuck. What Kirin? forms Kirin? does he know? Does he by perchance know a frost phoenix? No. But he has definitely seen like the smaller dragons around, right? The smaller green dragons? Uh, sure. I mean, those uh, are available. Mm, I don't know if he if he will do that then. Um, okay. Ah, uh, shit. I thought he was level 20. Um, nope. I mean, he is already higher level than you expected oh, him to be. Which kind of means he weren't the only ones working when... Has he seen the Kirin? Uh, no. I don't think so. You have never... You haven't met him in a long, long time. Especially not in Kirin form. Yeah. Uh, uh, how far away is she? 180 feet, right? Yes. Um... Uh, I don't cool. see. Maybe he could greater invis you for if you're gonna attack stuff or something, or a greater invis Trego or Zardos. Would or I Haze, need... but Haze risky. is a risk if he goes. Yeah, down. he is gonna not hold his concentration very yeah, well. Yeah, uh, he's. Uh, I'm gonna greater invisibility the dragon. What's okay. the difference between greater invis and normal invis? I can attack and do anything I want. And stay invisible. And stay Ooh. invisible. But it lasts only one minute instead of ten minutes. Instead of an hour? Yeah. Yes. Instead of an hour. Alright. Uh, yeah. Can I retract that? Sure. Uh, I'm gonna do the uh, I'm gonna do the wall of force thing again. Okay. To protect us. Go for it. Any incoming, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Damage. Words. Yeah, that's my turn. And that was a very good idea, because at the end of his turn, she uses her two legendary actions to breathe a gout of acid. Nice. Right like this. Except it hits the wall. Does it hit, does it hit the sh Oh, okay. Less. Oh boy. Bless up. Alright. Uh, Drago. That's a value action right there. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? How many... How many Ds are, are that? His Wait. Oh, right. Thing oh, I have no fucking idea. Weapon. Does she need to make a save here? She does. She needs to make the save or get... Tell me half. your natural roll. Half damage. Uh, it's, uh, my natural wait, roll is thirteen. Is that she, it's what a kind of save is that? It's a DC. It's a dexterity save DC twenty. Plus seven proficiency. I'm gonna use bend luck here. All right. I'm not sure if she's already out of range, but I want to make sure she's out of range. All right. Minus three. Now it's All natural right. ten. Uh, she's gonna use her legend resistance to dodge that. Well, that happens. Bonus action, recall it back to my hand. Alright. And I have an action. 
What should I do with my action? Can you heal yourself? Can I what? I can heal myself, heal. not for a lot though. Uh, she is 120 feet away. Wait, let me check. Oh, okay. This is, like, uh, this is like the most fucked up chess ever, where <laughs> I set the de the board for both sides, and I'm sitting here. I'm like, I'm gonna give me a queen. I'm just gonna make her four times bigger, and I'm gonna give them an extra rook and an extra bishop and an extra knight. <laughs> and I have all the tools to make myself win. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use. But I didn't uh, do that. Just, I think lay on hands and just to heal up a bit for twenty okay. points. Okay. All right. Oh, uh, I think that's my that. Melora. Oh, I do get ten hit points back. Is there any legendary action left? I think we used all three. Not for the go. No, not for the go. They run out much sooner than you expect. I just use them at the start of like every yeah, the it's, end it's of every test to just rush them out. Yeah. As the golem goes, vroom, vroom, vroom. really cool, really cool. Ah. Uh... My board stuff is inside. Is like I never asked for this. If my spell is 150 and it goes to her wing, is that yes? That the when her wing is that still imbalanced? Yes. I mean imbalanced. God. Yes, it is imbalanced. Uh, <laughs> do it. I'll do chain lightning on her. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um. Okay. Okay. Why is the spell not? Oh, because I hit the wrong thing. Hold on. Oh, uh, take the first one. I hit it twice. No, I'm gonna take the second one. <laughs> yes. I, I thought I didn't click it. So no, no, it's yeah, fine. First All right, yeah, you ch channel your arc lightning, and you see the blast hit her wing and spread over her body. It worked, as far as you can tell. Immune to fire, not immune to lightning, though. Anything else you would like to do? Like surrender? Uh, <laughs> uh bonus word. Yeah, we surrender, send an application. Look for it. Yeah. Bonus healing word on myself. Alright. Uh, okay. Uh, let's say that's the end of your turn while you do that. And we've got round five! Lyric action! We just moved so we can't move again. Um, no, but so we might be in range for some stuff. No, we are not. Oh, God damn it! I mean, you have, like, shoot attacks, except I don't remember they, their range. Do, they don't have range. We are out of range. Um, but, uh, so this means we are doing the Neba Ballista at disadvantage. I'm just gonna roll here. Uh... No. Not sure. Uh, then no. we can. The other one is 150 or 300. We are not in range for either one of those. Yeah, but you can move. No, we used that one last turn. No, no. In in the in the lair action, part of the action is to move 120 feet. But like um, Heron, Heron's Towns, it says Heron's Talon, but it's probably Heron Wings. Move yes. up to 60 feet and then do something. Or Heron Talons move up. Yeah, but to... we can't move closer anyway. We're frightened. Oh, right. We can't move closer to us. It doesn't oh, matter. Right, yes. it's, it's yeah, yeah. Alright. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you could move like perpendicular to right. in range for it. Ah, uh, bum 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 bum
Uh, wisdom saving throw. All right. Uh, that's not the dragon. This is the dragon. Wisdom saving throw. That's well, the... 18. Plus... Yes. Plus Roll. whatever you. Both yes, have. yes, yes, yes. You saved. All right. Zardos. Okay, cool. Oh, wait, forgot to build up the turns last round. Mm -hmm. oh, 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 my. Um, pretty sure she's still at range. Yeah, All right, I will. Let's just see what I can do with range. And I will sheathe the swords. Start drawing a bow. Uh, how do you do that? I mean, it's pretty much all I can do. Oh, Not okay. Do. So yeah, your object interaction and action to draw your bow. Okay. And may as well. Uh, hold on to it. Yeah, that'll be. That'll be it. That's it. Unfortunately, I just. Uh, don't have a lot I can do at range. Or, because no, it was a. Uh, I still do a dodge action. And uh, no, you use the action to draw your ball. No, it's not part of my ball. Well, I'll hold off on that. Just they have nothing in my arms for now. I'll do a dodge action and begin okay. my next turn. Yeah, draw makes sense. Uh, all right, you do that. Uh, that's the end of your turn. At the end of your turn. Yeah. You broken record! Do it. 30 Nine. for 18 damage, which seems a bit low. That's okay. Actually, it's double, so it's 20. Alright. Okay. 36. Is that the end of your turn? It's her turn. She gets her legendary actions back. And. Well. Let's see. Let us see. She shall move like this. She's basically hovering right above the golem. And she will. Will. Will, 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 will. Well. We all know the only reason this party is still holding together. So she will attack me! Claw! 34 to Wait. hit. What? Are we in range? Yes! 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 Like, Am I sentinel? in range to Sentinel? Yeah. Actually, you're not in range to Sentinel, which means you crit Sentinel. Actually, no, then you were in range, but now you're not in range. How can she attack and we cannot be in range at the same time? She has because range. she has reach. Yeah, but at least, like, that arm that is coming forward. That's not how it works. It doesn't work. Yeah, that doesn't. That's yeah, not that's okay, sure. Because then somebody is poking Shadow really with a lens, yeah. and she's lensing that lens back as a Sentinel. Nah. Sure. All right, we can, so we that's can 34 to hit uh, for um, uh, 26 points of damage. Milora. And a 31 to hit for 25 points of slashing damage. And <laughs> a 26 to hit for 25 points of piercing damage. Alrighty. Oh, fuck. How many HP do you have left? I can't see it. 
Five. Holy shit. Yep. Oh. Okay. At the end of her turn, <laughs> nice. he will attack in melee this time. All right. Crit. Crit. Uh, oh. 32, which is fine. 27. <laughs> 27 double. Yeah. Nice. 54. All right. He's doing so much damage. As the golem yeah. comes in melee with the mother dragons and pushes the knives with the scales on her chest, you see red. <gasps> First blood! Leos. Oh, wait, no, that's fire shit. Leos, your turn. Um, all right. Uh, let me see if I get my breath back. Just. Oh, I do. You do. Um, <laughs> well, she, I bet she's gonna make a DC 21 con save. Mm, okay, <laughs> she's in range of uh, I, the dragon, right? I am not sure. What's your range? Uh, my range is uh, 20 with... Yeah, you need to be no, no, adjacent to her, fail. basically. Okay. Because, like, Melora okay. and Zardos and Ruby, they're not your satellite ranges. <laughs> oh, I, th I, 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 th I thought I was already adjacent. No, no, no. Based no. on the line, the, uh, the. Okay. No. Let me just quickly check if, um, I have one hundred. You basically need to like move two squares closer to her. Two squares. Yeah. Could I not move one up here and then I would be in range? No. Like there. No. Where Melora is? That's not in melee range. Also, actually, how high are you? I am 10 feet above ground. Yeah, she's 120 I... feet above ground. <laughs> okay, <laughs> well, never mind. Um, let me just write down the height. How high is the ship? Uh, ship is wherever you left it, which was like mm, 70 feet. 70 Yeah, because it was like head level with the golem. What's her approximate range? Her? Around 100 yeah. feet, you're not sure. 100 feet, okay. Yeah, because then she couldn't have attacked Melora. Because she wasn't in range either. If she's 120 feet up and we're down there. Uh... Sure. I mean, sure. So she might be a little lower, but not much. I mean, you forgot that you're down below. I would have moved in close. I had the space. Oh, yeah, that's uh... why I said you were probably closer. It's really up to you how you want to. Uh, uh, All right, this. sure. I. Okay, she's a hundred feet in the air in that case. Yeah. Okay. So if she has reach on me for sure, then. Uh... Does that mean I get my hit points back, or no? I'm confused. No. Okay. No. She just moved closer to us. Um. Okay. Well, I think the best use of my... Ah, fuck it, I will try it. She is within range of my breath weapon. Oh, uh, she is? Um, I think so. Yes, 98. Let me just check. Okay, I have that much movement. That would put us in range of the ship, right? If we go there. 150 afterwards? Yeah. Pretty close, but they can't cast spells that... Nah, they actually can, yeah. If I go there? Don't yeah. they have a range of 120 feet? Oh, no, that was how far they can move, right? It, yeah, it depends on the spell. Like, uh, So some healing spells will reach that range. Like a uh, mass healing word might... Uh, okay, f fuck it. I'm going to uh, use my hasted action to disengage. All right. Um, just to be sure, then I will move uh, here, and I will use my action to dodge. Alright. And we're 100% within range now of the ship's healing capabilities, right? Of mass healing word, we should be, yes. I think that's the... Heal? I'm reading... Yes, mass healing word we are in range of. So <coughs> what about here? 
No, he touched the Okay, no, it's not. It works. It works. It works? Yeah, it works. Okay, then that's my turn. And At the eight. end of your turn! Yes! Go to town! Come right. on, crit it up! A knife! Oh my god, I'm rolling oh, constant 20. 16, which is. Uh, so don't forget your satellite uh, characters. Hmm? Yeah, like uh, Rubius and Malora need to move towards yeah. the dragon. Alright. The golem most certainly hits. However, at the end of his turn, she's gonna use her two legendary actions to gurgle up some acid, as you're all now very conveniently in a single file line with the ship. I'd like everybody except for the golem to make a dexterity saving throw. But there's a wall here! <laughs> and she's breathing above the wall. The wall is actually wall 10 foot up and angled in order to catch her previous breath, so she's going way above it now. I mean, okay. in case... Okay, oh my god! I rolled something good! I don't, I don't need to roll I uh, even half to quarter damage, I'm unconscious. Heron's wing does, though. Uh, I need Rubius, I need uh, Heron's uh, wing, Rubius I need Milora. And Dragon is coming up. And Dragon, yes. Uh, Darlis, well, um, no. I don't yes. need to roll, yes. I, I ought to Okay, yeah, Jesse, 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 you were saying. I was gonna say, I doubt I'm gonna save it, but if I can, I'm doing absorb elements for um, acid damage. I think it's still gonna take me down, but. Yeah. Yeah. I take me down. All right. Let's go top down. Uh, Trego, 26. Fail. Rubius, for. You, you, don't you still have Bless? No? No, Rubius? I don't have this. Okay, no. Rubius, 20. Fail. Yeah. Zardos. Success. Ardis. Oh, no. Heron's Wing. Fail. Leos. I have a question about that. Hmm? An important one. This does not, like, insta-kill our, our no. No, 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 no. He's safe in... Some until hit... The, po yeah, the only hit points is the ship. Until the ship is up, everybody's okay. safe. Good. Just pretend they're shooting from the windows all the spells. Uh, Dragon, fail. Melora, fail. So the only success is Zardos. 26, I need, even if I crit, I'm probably gonna Everybody fail. who has failed takes 81... Wow, that's a huge roll. 81 points of acid damage. And Ruiz is yes, unconscious good. again. Rubis is unconscious, Aris is unconscious, Melori is unconscious. One second, my search goes off first. Maybe. It doesn't. And ship loses 81 hit point as well. Yep, I am detracting. As you on the deck, well, you can't see, but if you could see, you would see like the sails beginning to melt. As ship loses mobility and basically like all the railing on the desk, like the remains of the ballista are just starting to turn into puddles. All right, what do we have here? What do we have here? What do we have here? So basically, the dragon is carrying a couple unconscious people. Uh, how much damage is that? Uh, Trigger, how did you make it? 40 for you. Because I had a, a 102 hit points. I had a lot more hit points than I expected you to have. I healed for a bunch. I intend to fix that uh, mistake on my side. All right. Mm -hmm. Aris, your turn. I come back up with five hit points. All right. Since everyone is within uh, range now. Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. Well, I mean, like you're doing that for a minute, so yeah. I need to. Okay, that, that, that. I mean, I don't think we're gonna go up to a whole ten rounds, but. Uh, no, so yeah, you know, I am tracking the rounds. All right. Anyway, it's your turn. Um. As now you look around on the naked desk, it's just becoming just like soppy. And I'm gonna move to the front myself of yep. the ship because it might actually matter. It does. Ah, uh, there's like. I will. Um... How many do I have? I oh, will shit, use... shit, shit. Uh, one qu qu question. Did I dodge with my action? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I should have done that with the advantage. Doesn't then. make a difference. Oh, yeah, right. I already accounted for your advantage. 
Yeah. Okay. I am going to use Earthbind as my action. So please tell me her natural rule with advantage. With it's strength saving throw, right? Yes, it's a strength save. Uh, with advantage, uh, 19. <laughs> 19! 19? No, you are. I think uh, she saves on that one. Let me see if I get a surge. Uh, no, not quite. Close, but not quite. Alright. Um, and then I will quicken another Earthbind right behind it. Alright. Another. Natural 20. One. Um, this is with two sorcery points. This is a surge. Ooh. Fuck. Yes. Option yes. one. Option one. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> imagine, yeah. imagine if it didn't have the two options stuff. Yeah, yeah the, without the advantage, it would be very yeah. different. But that's my level 14 feature. I know, I know. I'm just saying, like, remember your last option too? Well, you know what yeah. I mean. Um... That was action, bonus action, movement, and that's the end of my turn. All right. I'm what was it? What was the? Uh, I'm what? pulsing with sorcerous energy again. I got it all oh. back. <laughs> the end of nice. your turn. She will. She no, she can't. Uh, she's gonna like. Like, grab the golem with her front paws and bite for the neck, if golem has a neck. Um, a 31 to hit. If I remember correctly, the golem is immune to poison damage. Oof. True. So he takes a measly 16 bite damage. Quickly, quick question. Yes. Are her attacks yes. considered magical? Yes. 16? Okay, so 16, that leaves... Uh, yeah. I did Okay. You can just do the token. Alright! Uh, Rubius, I believe. Yes, uh, save! He's unconscious. Yes. Death save. Come on, natural 20. Or, natural or 20. Is unconscious a lot. Oh, a Nobody save. succeeds. It's an unnatural 20. Yes. It's a supernatural 20. Alright. Uh, that was him. Oh boy, I did that. I did that. I could do that. I think a more valuable thing would be... She... releases the golem, presses her muzzle right against the head, and unleashes piercing breath. I'd like the golem to make a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> he can't make it, he can't make it. I'd like him to make it anyway. Alright. Uh, the golem takes 79 points of piercing damage as you watch just hundreds of lenses just go <laughs> into the head of the golem. Just like breaking up the grate and almost destroying the head of it. So that was... I'm starting to think that our should be sacrifice the whole group, leave the yes, golem alive I to do all so the damage. Too. I think so. Let's just use our wish to repair the golem and give him some No! <laughs> Alright, 79. I don't see the hit points of golem reducing. They were they just reduced to 135. They were just reduced, yes. They were, That's uh, after the 79. 200, they were before 217 and then reduced to that. I can confirm. They're at 135 right now. Yep. Alright, yeah, sure, makes sense. Alright. Really? I had to think I have my hit points. Alright. Um. Drago, it is your turn. Yeah. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. What are you thinking? I mean, everyone's ar everyone around me is unconscious, right? Ah, uh, not everyone, but two people out of three, yes. Out of four, if you count as a dragon. Five, if you count yourself. 
Aris is not close, he's like 60 feet away from you, so... Uh... Fuck. I wanna get them both up. I mean, you can certainly do that. Mm -hmm. Well, first of all, I get 10 hit points back, which is nice. Oh, that's why you had so much hit points. Yeah. How many? Stacks. And I can use... I can show you. Oh. I will cast. Uh... Fuck! How many people can I target? With that? Three creatures. Okay. I mean, that's pretty good. So mm. I'm gonna cast aid on uh, Rubius, Melora, and thyself. I have only myself to blame for this. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. That's five hit points, right? She has a tip. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. So Rubius gets five, Melora gets five, and I get five. That was a nice bonus action. Yeah, like, uh, fuck. <laughs> we just need to get in. There is, there is nothing I think I can do to get in range. I mean, I'm like reading the spear, I'm reading the... The, sh the shield is not in wing form, so I can't. I could use, like, the... Whatchamacallit? Sun God's Ray to damage her from this far away, but... I mean... Uh... Hmm... Okay, yes, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is... Can I link it? I can't. Okay, so I'm just gonna use Sun God's Ray. But since uh, it's a range of 120, which gets me up to here, <laughs> I'm gonna have to use uh, one prominence to double the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The range? range? That hits her, right? 240 hit her, hits her? Uh, 240 hits her, yeah. Okay. And let me read all of the bonus, like, like bonus stuff I can do with it. So it's a dexterity saving throw, 8d6. I'm gonna... So that's one prominence on the range. And then another prominence for the DC to go up to 20. And then... I could use it to teleport her. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> increase the blinding effect. Is there a normal blinding effect on it? No. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, so I need to spend two in order to make her blind. If she can be blinded. Um, yeah. I'll use two more prominences. Okay. So I'm at one prominence left. Uh, to make it with a blind saving throw. So. Yeah, what do I need to do? First of all, I need to roll damage. You sure? Well, it's only half if she doesn't make it. So that's 8d6. A dexterity saving throw of 20. Please tell me your natural roll. Two. Um, she, that's um, fine, okay. yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, does she use legendary? No. Yeah, she gets me. blinded? No. Uh, and now she needs oh, to gosh. roll a DC 20 constitution saving throw, throw or be blinded. Tell me your natural roll, please. Let me remove the hit points first. Than one that would have been nice. Uh, Constitution, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now this is a magical effect. Uh, Thirteen. Uh, On a con save? No, no way. Even if a nine. This is twenty, so that means no, a plus seven. Even, even if she, if I get her down to a nine, a plus eleven, that's what we have. Like no. <laughs> way. Oh, come I on! Look at her! Yeah, she yeah, she looks like she hasn't eaten no, no. in like a couple months. 
She's so frail, so thin, so elegant. No, no, I'm not doing anything. You can keep your fucking 13. Alright, she's not blinded. Okay. Uh, so that was my bonus action with aid, action with that. Yeah, uh, God help us all. <laughs> Alright. Melora? Oh boy, okay. Um, for flavor, she's gonna push herself up to I mean, not for flavor, you are prone, so you do need to get up. Yeah, and she's gonna, like, say in a heavy breath, desperate times call for desperate measures. And I'd like to try and use Wish. And outside of the boundaries of the regular spell, I'd like to try and cast Mass Heal with the spell. Is there a spell called Mass Heal? Yeah, it's yep. a level 9 cleric spell. Yeah. Is it? So... This is... Basically... Completely outside of Smudges, like you go, damn, I'm wishing to yeah, cast yeah, the wish, level wish. 9 cleric spell Mass Hail. Yeah. Yes, All it's right. not the level 8 or below version. Uh... Oh no. Uh... The voice of the god. Alright, well, for starters... Roll me a d100. While I ponder. Sorry, one sec. <laughs> As you see, the face of Satan the Vic appear and go, No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to die. Roll me the hundred. It's not a, a see if you die yet. You can do it. Yeah, with a plus oh. six, that's thirty-six. Maybe I don't know. It's not a skill check. And I know. with that, the first thing you notice is. Oh no! I've forgotten how to do it. As never again will you cast a wish spell. Okay. Let me remove that from your character sheet. Or oh, more like from your journal. And let's see. Uh, please remember... Alright. Your strength score is now 3. And please remember that each time you cast a spell... From now on, you take 1d10 necrotic damage per level of the spell. You cannot reduce or prevent the damage in any way. Now for the actual effect. Let me think a bit more. This... Great, but not too great. Alright, as you do that, you are less. Notice the bright gush of light that glows from within the cabin of the Heron's Wing. As you watch Nachnaya overflow with divine energy, as she casts the Mass Hill. Expanding every single spell point she and her brother has accumulated. Okay, no more. Nevertheless, time. she casts it. Whew. So no more uh, mana on the ship. No more mana. Yeah. Worth Sorry. It. <laughs> it's okay, it's worth it, I think. Well, you get to divide 700 hit points. Mm -hmm. It gets almost everybody up except the ship. Well, Zardos you can't heal the sheep, you can't heal the golem. the golem, and you can't heal yeah. Zardos. So, I think you get everybody up, I don't think you yeah, have... Yeah, everyone can, I think everyone can just put max HP in. Like, we can start, like, how many do you need, Trigle? So, I have 
36 out of 230 max because I have 8 on myself. 36 out of 230. This is a critical spell. 194? Yeah. So we have right. 506 left. I'd need 203. You need 203. We have 303 left. Uh, heal, uh, heal uh, Ruby is completely first. Wait, uh, Melora, yeah, you I have... have Melora, yeah, is that with the aid you have? Yeah, I have, have five. You have extra five over that, and I think with... If you have Hero's Feast, that's an extra 13, right? No, she doesn't have Hero's Feast. Okay. Yeah, but the extra five does apply. You have uh, plus five max You have eight. Points. Max hit points oh. plus five because of eight. So, 298. Um... And now let's heal Rubius for 94. Uh, he also has aid applied. Um, for 99. <laughs> so he technically has one of four hit points right now. Yeah. Oh, how much is left? Uh, 199. You take so, that? How much uh, can you take of that? 306 minus 10, 10, 196. You can take 196? Yes. Yeah, you take 196. And I take the other three. <laughs> <laughs> Do Why? you not want to heal yourself? Do you fast? not want to stand up? I am deli I've already done all I can do here. Is Zen dying value. right now? Hmm. And I am basically undying. And I'd like to do something yeah. about this, but there's a fucking yeah. robot in front of me. <laughs> well, technically not, but I'll deal with so, it later. Uh, Malora, please heal yourself completely. Uh... Yes, with an extra right. five hit points. Yeah, I'm marking this in my little area so that I remember how much my main points were. In the meantime, Zara's like... Wait, guys! Yeah, you get out. healing? You know, like, the team with four people, like, wait, guys, you get healing? <laughs> you get healing? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> you guys are getting healing? <laughs> it's like, I get 99 hit points, I get 100. That basically re <laughs> almost resets the battle in terms of hit points, which is awesome. Now fucking go in. All right. That um, was so. I think that was so worth it. That was worth it. All right. Round six. Layer action. Layer action. The ship is gonna be firing its fucking laser. I'm a firing my laser. <laughs> Are they in range? It's in range yes. for the barrage, not for the range. Yes. For the On the first barrage, yeah, not the beam. Oh, that's even better. Oh, nice. Okay. Is it? I, I think so. I I'm know. not sure, but maybe not. Um, so the barrage goes four times? Uh, no, 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 What? Like, four blasts. that's the total number is for all four blasts. Oh, that sucks. Okay. What? That 18 is for all yes. four blasts? Yes. Oh, okay. I yeah, get closer. Garbage. <laughs> Never mind. Um, and it's at disadvantage because he's scared. So Trash weapon. Trash weapon. He has built us. 10 damage, uh, for 10 to it, that's a miss. This thing is really disappointing. Holy fuck. We need to get it in range for the freaking Lunar Beam, because that's what does the damage. Yeah, yeah but it, it will never get in range. He's scared. Alright. Uh, my layer X. I throw him out of the driver's seat. Oh Your boy, my layer action. I think I like it where I am. Zardos. Don't, don't want to move? No. Zardos, right. here. Alright. Yeah, bonus action, I'll drink this other potion. Since everyone's healing. And then I'll grab Trago, like, let's try this again, shall we? And... Show me the world. I trust you. Yep. Alright. So... so... I'd like both of you to make athletics or acrobatics check. 
Uh, we're hovering because we drank the flight potions, right? Yeah, oh, you're both flying. Okay, where are you going then? Um, I guess to her back. Right, sure. Go there. Go! Fly, you fools! Uh, you need to tell me where. It's around here, maybe? Yeah. Harper's right against her. Right, Wait, what? Why not at the middle? Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing we're at the same. I don't know where we are. I'm going to assume like that. Right, sure. All right, that was your bonus action. That was your action. I assume that's it. Yep. At the sword, end sword of your turn. Ready. All right. Swords out ready. At the end of your the, turn? Yes, the, the golem boy will dagger. Go, golem boy. Crit him. Crit are real good. Yes. Oh, man. All right. Okay. okay. It's, da it's damage. It's 36 damage. It's value. Okay. And this brings us to her turn. Goodbye, golem. She could do that. Yeah, she's gonna start ta taking apart the golem. They're all. They're Which means I right beside her. Can sentinel. <laughs> yes. Mm, can you? When she's within five feet of him, yes, he can. Mm -hmm. She's within five feet of me. All right, sure. Use that piercing damage. Ah. Oh. Uh... Your Oof, attack no, is at disadvantage because you're wielding a lens within five feet of the Oh, enemy. right. Oh, well. That's a so that's a miss. That doesn't hit. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to make... Oh, right. You can't anyway. Well, I know what my bonus action is going to be. <laughs> uh, shit. Uh, yeah. So she's going to start taking apart the golem. Uh, 28 on her first strike. Uh, to hit, I mean. That hits, yes. Uh, 27 slashing. Telling me doing the damage? Uh, 36 to hit for 29. And 28 to hit for 40. That was a huge 40. roll. Is he down? No, no, he has 40, no, 39 hit points left, but he is suffering. <sighs> All well, right, uh, Lewis, it's your turn. At the end of her turn. <laughs> okay. Yes. You both stab yes. her for almost there 60 it is. points. There it goes. And a fu oh, 58 damage. Alright. Fucking goal away. Whew. How does she look by now? Uh, she looks pretty battered. Like, yes. I mean, the only part of her brain is the chest where the golem continues just like, go, die, 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 <laughs> die, 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 die. <laughs> does he have sneak attack? Or more like... Burst up on the side was like, die, 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 die. Huh, the picture sounds very much like given Slavic. Anyway, die, die, die. <laughs> All right, uh, Leos, it's your turn. Um, By the way, I'm pretty right. oh, that doesn't matter, but I'm pretty sure that wall forces down. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, oh. Uh, I will remove it. Um, it's for sure down. Um, so, down, if I can see it. Hmm? If I see correctly, if I move here, I should be in her range, right? I have no idea where you're pointing. Oh, don't you see that? No, no Do we you can't see, see what now? you're doing. No. No? no. Ugh. Are you okay. sure you if don't I... have your ruler on hidden? If I, oh, if there I... we go. 180. Oh. Yes, now no, you're in range. It's to show to others. Hmm. Okay. Well, that, anyway. But that was 180, so that's like your and... movement and haste detection. Uh, and hasted action to get uh, uh, yeah, higher okay. because I think. Oh right, 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 right. Yes, yes, yes. How high do I need to get? <laughs> uh, you need to get up to hundred feet. Okay. So totally wasted. And you grab Rubius with you. Yeah. Because he doesn't have a choice. Oh, no. Um. So one. Zero. zero. Are you with melee attacks, Rubius? Are, are you still greater invest? Uh, it didn't happen. No, he uh, he wanted to come in between. Again, yeah. Um. So, I am. That was my movement and hasted action. And with my action, I will just slam into her, trying to tear, bite her ass. Come uh, on, that's yeah. piercing damage. You're blessed. Uh, Twenty-seven. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. He has, I have a blessed under there. Twenty-two. So, 44 damage. Hit? Yes. 
Four, um, four damage. Claw. Twen- 23 to hit. Misses. The claw at the scales. Ah, and then the claw one. again. Um, okay. Um, that was my turn. Say it. And at the end of your turn! <laughs> 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 oh no! <laughs> oh no, what could yeah. happen? It seems that no. the knife has been drenched in blood so much that for a moment it sleeps and gets out of the wound and, and scrapes no against the hard scales. Oh, and that's the end of your turn! <laughs> the Mars of Dragons shall expand two legendary action to do a 270 foot cone of piercing breath, striking the dragon, the melora, the rubius, the golem, and thankfully not hitting the ship. Uh, so that, that's Dex dex saving throws. Yes. Um, okay, that's a fail. Oh, no trego on you! Nice! <laughs> yeah, there's no fail. There's no trego, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's also no success. <laughs> uh, dragon fails, melora fails, uh, um, rubius and golem fails. If I remember correctly, Rubio's I fails. should have one legendary resistance left. I have no fucking clue. Yeah, you, I, you, you, I, I, I subtracted two, uh, but uh, the number was removed when uh, when we moved to this map, but I'm r- like 99% sure All that right. I had, had sure. one left. Would you like to use it? So I will I will use that uh, to save here. And Golem? Oh, no, yes, Golem. I mean, I just oh no, never mind. Success. I let it go. It's it's fine. I will let it go Golem through. All right, so fail on everybody. Uh, yeah. Piercing breath. Uh, roll real low, please. I did roll below average. That's sixty-eight piercing breath. And Golem's dead. Golem is down. Oh. No, but he was able to use all of his legendary. Yeah. Yeah. As you finally watch the number of lenses just tear off the head of the golem, and it just goes. <laughs> and collapses to the ground with have... the fate of its inhabitants unknown. Alright, uh, Ardis, it is your turn. Uh, you know the good shit that's gonna happen first, I'm gonna heal. And then I am going to... Can I do it both times? Ah, oh, fuck. No, once is enough. Um, first, I will quicken uh, Earthbind. Uh, okay. So let's strength so saving please, strong. Strength save, yes. Please tell me the natural. Uh, goal. fourteen. One four. Why are we trying to Earthbind her again? I'm trying to waste legendary saves. Oh, okay. I don't know if she has nine and it's absolutely worthless what I'm doing, but I don't have many things to do. I already did mostly all I can. <laughs> So it doesn't really matter because she's also immune to fire. I don't do damage here. Um, right. fourteen natural. Let's say she has a plus ten. Even does she have a plus ten for strength? Yeah. Probably. The go- Let's say like this. The golem had a plus sixteen. Yeah, but he's proficient. She's the dragons usually aren't proficient. So that's a plus ten. Yeah. So now I'll I'll leave it be, right. um, and then for my it bonus doesn't do anything action, against I... her. Just they yeah, break I... trying to bind her. Um, for my normal action, I am going to draw on the magic that is around me. I Ooh. do not have a, spell, a low level spell slots anymore, and I don't want to use like my level sixes on this. Right. I am going to cast um, another one. And another. another. All right, let me open my level 2 spell. You try so hard, mm-hmm. able. I'm got so far. Alright, uh, what level spell is this? 2. Level, level two. 2. Alright, so... So... Roll me a d... 100. Hmm, this is strange. That is an awful roll. 
or a very good one, you don't know, but probably awful. Hmm. Alright, doesn't matter. I'll roll me D10. Uh, twice. 2D10? 2D10, yeah. Alright, uh, 5, 6, 7. Uh, what are you casting? That was bind. Yes. Uh, what's the range? 300. 300. Uh, roll me. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Roll me the six. Uh, what did, what did you roll to one? I guess. All right. You watch as you cast the spell, but instead of seeing those giant yellow bands wrap around the mother of dragons. You see Rubius on top of the of Leos gets I immediately drop it. wrapped. Before, before as soon as they start appearing around, right. I'm just dropping. It. Sure. I can con and concentration at any time. Okay. So nothing happens to Rubius. No, He's no. still safe, boy. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I mean, it would have only reduced his non-existent flying speed. So he has actually flying speed. He does. He is Harry Potter. Is his head that's of his room, that's Anyway, um, that's the end of the I turn. will move back oh, on okay. the ship, and uh, I will like run towards the cabin since I know this fucking dude is stuck in there, not doing anything. Um, <laughs> I've seen the fear in his eyes, and I'm going to uh, shout at him to, "You gonna mend the weapon, and I'm gonna mend this wheel, and we're gonna do this together, okay?" And that's for the next. No, yeah. You see the little covering brother of people Bidowick squeak from behind the wheel. Eh, right! And run down into the gut of the ship. Alright. So, what's gonna happen now is something very fun. Alright, oh, why am I doing this? You're so confusing me. At the end of his turn, the golem will remain dead because there's no more golem. <laughs> Alright. Right. At the end of your turn, the Mother of Dragons is gonna use two of her legendary action. As acid breath gathers in her mouth and she spits a uh, long. Alright, oh, why I was counting, it's a lot longer. In, in which case, she actually should go. Alright, I'm gonna say. So you're manning the wheel right now. Uh, if I didn't think so because I thought like I wouldn't. I yeah, you didn't have an action to do that. Yeah. I wanted right. to like take my next action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you allow it now, I will oh, do fuck. it now. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, is, that, that is correct. Uh, which basically means that your hit points are still your hit points, not ship hit points. Yeah. So yeah. I'd like uh, Melora, Dragon, Rubius, Ship, Arliss to make a dexterity saving throw. I'm gonna use Tide Scale. Sure. And I, I can't make it. I know. Okay. The ship can't make it either. As neither can Ruby. Ah, uh, fail, fail, fail. Oh, he fail, fail. Too good. All right, every single fucking one of you who has just healed, take sixty-six acid points of damage. And Ruby is just unconscious. I'm gonna and... use another level one slot to absorb elements before I go down right. and see if I can provoke a surge. <laughs> it's like tactical damage it's taking. The only, it's the only reason I'm doing it, so it's just maybe I get <laughs> lucky. No, not with that. You said poison, right? Acid. Or acid. She checked poison. This. Poison doesn't work. Yeah, I'm doing the same thing with my absorb right. elements, so, and I'll take the okay. 1d10. So Rubio 0, whatever. Dragon minus 66, Melora minus 33, Ship minus 66, R is down. And Rubius is also down. Death saving throw. No uh, bonuses. It's his turn now, right? Yes. Uh, Alright. Or all that. Come on, natural 20. No, that's okay. Or so. He's been just going down. Alright, so like that's a success. Role. 
Uh, and at the end of his turn, she's gonna use her legendary action to fucking bite me, Laura, again. Oh, come on. 25 to hit. Come on, man. 39 mm -hmm. slashing damage. Alright. And, Trevor, it's your turn. Come on, the fucker. Okay, oh. I'm gonna use a bonus action to turn Sun Spear into a uh, whatchamacallit? A spear. <laughs> One spear into a spear, yes. I'm gonna yeah. turn the lance into a spear. Trega the, is so proficient with fighting, he remembers the names of all the weapons. Uh huh. <laughs> Come on, fuck her up. That's what's going uh... Yeah. Fuck I me up! Fuck me up! Action. I can't fuck up! To attack twice. Now it's a spear, now fuck it's a normal up. spear. That's Save fine. them! Come on. Yes! 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 I'll smite that! <laughs> I, I have a quick question. The, damage, the extra weapon die is also piercing damage, right? Oh, true. As well as mm -hmm. the um, additional damage from enlarge, that's also piercing? Uh, yeah, sure. yeah. So that damage is also all gonna be doubled. So first of all, 2d2, but it's doubled, so it's 4. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, give oh. And then another uh, 2d2 from Zardus's spell, I think? Yeah. Uh, that no, eight. that's... That's like... 2d8, yeah. Okay. Psychic damage? No, wait, Zardus, you were damage. saying... What's yeah, about psychic. your spell? Is it still up? Yes. Hmm. Okay. And so then... 20 uh, damage is doubled. I and did already. Okay. That was a good roll, that was a bad roll. Alright. She's still alive. With my second attack. <laughs> Alright. Oh shit. Okay. Your second attack, you miss. Yeah. Uh which really Yeah, that's about average for you. If you can't smite. All right, uh, Medora, it's your turn. All right, I'm gonna do call lightning level five on her. Okay, go for it. Um, what's the range of call lightning? Well, yeah, you're close enough anyway. Uh, it's five d eight for the necrotic, right? Uh, what? No, it, I think it's the ten. For we, uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Wish, wish when she casts. Uh, yes. Uh, wish. Yeah, uh, one to ten, ten per ten. level. So yes, five to ten. All right, I might be able to survive this. Let's see. Uh, well, about calling half. lightning every time uh, applies to necrotic no. damage too. No, 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 Only no, no. Once. Okay. She's, yeah, it's gonna so be harsh to scale. Alright, with dexterity saving throw. Boom, boom, that's a fail. Um, How does she look like the Mother of Dragons after that? She looks really bit off. Let me think. She's actually oh, gonna might, might. use the legendary resistance on this. Zoras hasn't attacked, he's Which waiting. Number three? Five, nine, seventeen, yes. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, and Skelsey like to do Milora? Uh, nah, because it's not worth casting a level 1 bonus healing word to take um, 1d10. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, in that case, round 7! Now I keep all the Zardus. Stop it, even my bed. Uh, round 7. Uh, Lair action! Lifelines um, don't have magic, Luna yeah, Beam. And we can and we can't like shoot, we just shot. So this is gonna be the ballistas. A straight roll. She's uh, in range. Yeah, when I uh, fuck I crit. Called, the golem died. Come on, crit. Straight roll? Twenty? Oh, ah. shit. Twenty dollars. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a eighty roll. damage. Yeah. If it if that hits Imagine if they ever kills a dragon. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Our HD was 25, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I can't All even right. end my As my lair action, I'd like... 
I'd like Zardus to make a right. wisdom saving throw. He does get a plus six. He's next to me. He does. And he has proficiency. Because I'm really Let's generous. See actually... Let's see if it actually works, though. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, plus okay, four. that's 21. And plus, plus four. That's a success. Good. Uh, Zardus, your turn. Yes! Fuck her up! Oh, good. Oh, here comes the damage. I hope so. Ah, oh, here comes Zarda's roll skills, no, just no, no, the no, three no. natural has, ones. Last, it's gonna be so I assume you're like, you had your hands on your swords as you put them away, now you draw them again? Yes. Nice. Seven. Yeah, I said I drew them at the end of my last turn, after I dimension doored. 17 doubled, 34 plus 8. Nice, nice. That double damage is crazy. That double damage is... It's oh, dope. That's that's Aren't you blessed? Scrap, scrapes all he the is scales. blessed, but oh, it's not gonna help. Yeah, it's not gonna help, right? All right. Come on, come on. Come on. Crit, crit, crit. Yes, another. Thirty-one damage and oh, nice. All right. Oh, that's damage. Damn. Yeah, the right. damage is. This was what? Um... Keep going, if you can. You have an and that one misses. Oh, bless, 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 bless. Oh, another piercing. It game. might, it might have, it might have. Plus two. Yes! yes! It's another an, uh, 18, 20 damage attack. Yeah. You've hit something in her neck. You see the blood gushing. But she's alive. Oh my god. Action surge. Yeah, I would love to, if I could, I'd try to force another action surge, yeah. Then I can't, I don't think I can. Alright. It is her turn. And you see... The gush of blood slowly stopping as the wood begins to st stitch itself together. She... Will turn around. No, she won't. I mean, she's gonna turn around for a moment and say... <laughs> this isn't even close to being over! As she whips around and unleashes a round of attacks on Elora. Is she attacking Elora? Yes. I will sentinel that! Ah. Uh... I mean, I can just... it provokes the attack of opportunity. You want me to link it? Yeah, do link me. I, I want to check something different. I don't think it will reduce her to zero. That doesn't matter. But if a creature within five feet of me... Uh, uh, sorry. When a creature within five feet of me makes an attack against a target other than me, and that target doesn't have Sentinel... All right. I, can well, use I just want to check that me. I do make an attack first, and then you hit her. Not the other way around. Ah, yeah. Yeah, reactions are always triggered after the original action oh, yeah. that triggers yes, it. Yes. Ah, Alright, uh, 29 to hit Melora. For 38 Ooh. points of damage. Ooh. Come on! <laughs> Trigger, strike. Okay. Come on, crit. Come on. Fuck her up. Oh, come oh. on! Oh. And you... You like you see that wound closing that Zerg has opened up, and you go... Come on! And you push your leg on her neck to give you leverage, and your leg sleeps, and you go Shah! scrape what? off the stuff. Uh, she's gonna claw Milora. Natural 20. Doesn't matter, Milora going Ooh. down. That was a good crit. And she hits unconscious Milora. With another claw for two death saving throws. Oh. Leos? This is my turn. This is your turn. Get her up. Get her up. <laughs> With what? <laughs> Lick her! Uh, Lick her wounds! Alright. Just bite her. Okay. I have two options. Do you? 
I can either run, dash with my hasted action to treggle, or I could use that to make an additional attack against her. I mean, I could probably reach. Wait. Okay. One. I will do the following. I will. If I move I can 150 reach. feet, that's as far as I can move with my normal movement here. I'm still within range of um, of the Mother of Dragons, right? Yes. Okay, I will. You're a little fly buzzing around her neck. I will shout Dragon get here. Dragon fly. They are dying. And then I will just <laughs> at the Go Mother of Dragons. At her face! Go for Come it. Come on, bite. Bite Crit her lip! With a bite. Bite her uh, lower nip! Fuck, that's a miss. Less? Oh, fuck. I will. No, no, no. I will um, bend lock. Uh, aren't you unconscious? Oh, fuck. I, I, I'm only after him. Fuck. No. Oh, also, uh, does it like, like, does like have a range or is it like C? No, it's C. Alright. No range. That's a miss. Okay. Well, that's a miss. Then I will claw. Oh, so, oh that's good. Still good. Still good. It's a 19 for damage. Mm -hmm. Another claw. That's nice. a miss. And yeah. with my hasted action, I will bite Come once on. more. Come on, bite. Crit. You can do it. You can do it. You can Crit. Do it. You can do it. Crit. Oh, 20 damage. Bite her lower nip. How do you want to do this? Yeah. Okay. I want to do the following. With the first miss, I, I, I slide off her scales and then I just start clawing in into her neck. I will tear it open and just squeeze through and just breathe fire in her neck to, towards her, her mouth so it just drips barely out of her mouth and just kill her from the inside. You got so excited you became like all slow motion and blurry for me. Oh no! <laughs> And you heard nothing? That is I heard everything. Okay, cool. So yeah, you tear open her neck and just like snake your head inside and breathe fire everywhere. And you hear the roar of pain of the mother as she opens her mouth and your own flame gouts from her mouth. And you see the skin around her wound begins to darken, becoming brown as Quickly, the brownness spreads around her body, and you see it beginning to crumble and disintegrate like dried autumn leaves on the wind. And as the wind dissipates the dust, you see the elven figure howling midair. Fuck. As Fuck, we're not done. she stretches out her hand and you see vines gathering around her arm and growing into a glaive. And with that, the Mother of Dragons shall use her mythical action to create the Guthia's Grave. Okay. You see waves of dark energy emanate from her as where the ashes of her body has spread, the grass dies and trees wither and from the ground the roots of dark dead trees sprout rising into the sky as Hiron's wing gets grabbed and crushed by one of the roots sending its debris with the bodies of its passengers falling to the ground and all around the survivors the dragon, his cargo, Trega, and Zardos, and the elven figure. The roots of trees intertwine and enclose you in a dark, cave-like pit of impending doom. And that is where we're gonna end the session for tonight. No!